Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to this match play game between the Chaos Space Marines and the Adeptus Sororitas. I hope I said that right. Um, today we're doing Vital Ground, Scrambler Fields and the Hammer of Anvil. So Hammer of Anvil, one of us is going to be deploying down this end, the other will be down that end. It's an 18 inch deployment zone from the edge. Uh, and there's three deployment zones across the middle in No Man's Land and one in the centre of each deployment zone. Scrambler Fields means you cannot scout move, infiltrate or deep strike onto objectives apart from your, your home field one. So you're slightly limited as to where you can drop in, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, and then Vital Ground means if you have your home objective, you get two points. No Man's Land, five points. If you take your opponent's home objective, you get six points. So more primary points, the more favourite the field you get. Well, it's not a field, it's a city today. But anyway, the further up you go, you get more points. Uh, for terrain and things, there's lots of ruins today because we're in a city. So they will block your line of sight or ruin it. Um, they're obscuring, as it used to be called. You can shoot into them. And if you're holding them in, you can shoot out. And of course, they'll give you the benefit of cover if you're in them or slightly obscured by them. And that's about it, really, for terrain. Oh, and I've got some crates in a crate position with some barrels of laughs. Um... So that's that. Before we see the guests and the armies for today, smash the like button, hit subscribe. There'll be a battle report or something every week. And if you want to support me further, you can become a YouTube channel member. But yes, without further ado, Good evening. David is here. It's been a long time. And you brought the sisters because they're yeah. doing it for themselves. And they're kind of okay now, I guess. Maybe. They are. They are and they aren't. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> and, and, I, and I've got the Chaos Marines. Um, but before we get into the Chaos, Sisters about oh, what's their thing? They still have Miracle Dice. Yep, they still have Miracle Dice. A bit more restricted now. You can't use it for the amount of damage you inflict now. You can only use it for... Well, no, you can use it for the amount of damage, but you can't use it for number of shots anymore. Can't use it for number of shots. You can do it for hit rolls, wound rolls, damage rolls, advance rolls, charge rolls. Saving throws, morale checks. Well, but battle shock, as they call it now. Yeah, but you can't do it on, for example, your D6 plus 3 shot. You can't use it to go, there's yeah. a 6 plus the 3, that's that. Okay, but it's not... I imagine you probably don't use it on that much anyway, though, right? Really? There are times I wish I could. Well, you can't now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then you get Miracle Dice, what, every time you kill a unit or I kill a unit or something like that? Okay. Uh -huh. If the unit's got an icon, I get a dice whenever they destroy a unit. Okay, right. Whenever I lose a unit, I gain a dice. Okay. And I gain one at the start of each command phase. Including mine? Yes. Okay, so you get a constant a flurry of dice coming in, essentially, and you roll the dice, and that's the number you get for it. A bit yep. like Eldar Fate dice, but not so broken. Yep. Uh <laughs> and I will point out, thanks to this lady in this squad, at the start of my command phase, I can re-roll one of my Miracle dice. Okay, so she's a bit like, is it, is it the Farseer or Warlock or something? Eldar of a similar person, but okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, and uh, and I also have the trick. First time I use a dice on a unit that contains one of these... Cherubs or babies. They can The unit can choose to sacrifice a baby, and I instantly roll a replacement dice for the one I've used. So for each baby, you get an extra miracle dice, essentially. That's yeah. cool. That's all babies are worth, isn't it? Dice. Yeah, otherwise it's just a token. You don't count it for measurement and line of sight and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just there to represent they haven't used their baby yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's your... Um, what's the detachment rule for the sisters? Or have you already mentioned it? Uh, the detachment rule, it's effectively old school martyred lady on steroids. So... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when I'm... So once I drop below starting strength, I get plus one to my hit rolls. Okay. If I drop to below half my starting strength, I also get plus one to my wound rolls. Okay, so plus one of strength if I kill a lady. If I kill lots of ladies, plus one of wound as well. Yeah, but it counts cool. wounds now, not models. So bear that in mind when you're damaging tanks. Yes, basically, if you're shooting something that's got multi-melters on it, don't cripple it, kill it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, that's easy enough to remember. But do you want to run through your list today very quickly? Oh, very. Ah, sure, why not? Okay. So for a start, we've got the Warlock, because she has to be more than Val, and her unit of three Warsuits. Yes. It's an almost all to include unit these days, because while she's in the unit, you're getting to reroll hits and wounds. Very nice when you've got multi melters and maces. And yeah. she gets bonus bolter shots and melee attacks once per game if I choose to trigger it in the command phase. Very nice. Okay. Cool. And the Warsuits have the option of withdrawing and then recharging into combat. So they can fall back and charge. Yeah. Lovely. Cool, kill them. Right. Fine. Okay, the lone ops. <laughs> we have the Calidus Assassin. 
pretty much if you're an Imperium player that hasn't got one in your list, what are you doing? They are very useful, yes, because they can sort of pop up and pop back down again. They're really good for secondaries and things, yeah. And now we come to a unit that Sisters players should be using more, more the Demonifuge, which is a Phil Stern and a Carla Queen Companion. Very handy anti chaos unit, loan operative, cheap. Yeah, very cheap deep strike cheap option. Cheap and cheerful. Good against secondaries, and against chaos it also becomes quite killy, we were discussing earlier, so we yeah. might see that today. And then, well, we've got my home field objective squad, basic battle sister squad. So they have the rule if they're controlling an objective at the start of the command phase, my command phase, I gain an extra dice. Okay, cool. So it's going to sit there all deck game and get, you, get your dice. And this one is led by the image fire, which gives the unit a four pin run. Very nice. Also allows me to re-roll one Miracle Dice in the command phase, and there's an enhancement that does something else with Miracle Dice. Which will probably never come up, because nothing will be within six of her when they die. I hope. Because she'll be at the back. Yeah, yep. unless, unless I'll drop some Warped Hands down and charge in a murder of a lot of them. Um, <laughs> we got Judith, effectively the equivalent of Chapter Master for Martyred Lady, in her battle pulpit. Yes. Her special ability is, while she's on the field, I gain extra CP. And while she's leading unit, the unit gets minus one to hit. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a unit essentially that's got minus one to hit, a four of him vault, and getting you miracle dice and command points. And surprisingly, she's not a vehicle anymore. No, yeah, I mean, she's just on a little hover thing. But she was a vehicle previously. <laughs> yeah, I suppose not really big enough to be a vehicle now, is it, I guess? And obviously, if she, if she had the vehicle keyword and joined a unit, that unit would then gain the vehicle keyword, and it would be really awkward and weird. So yeah. I'm glad they didn't do that. Okay, cool. Okay, we got a castigator with a battle cannon. Yes. Nothing, nothing special. We all know what castigators do, or we should do at this point. It's got a big gun. It shoots things. It's also got lots of heavy bolters. Yeah, because... Yeah. For some reason, Workshop didn't want to give it multi motors and flamers. Yeah. We got the Exorcist with the Exorcist rockets because the conflagration missiles are rubbish. Yeah, so these are the anti tank ones you've given it? Or the anti infantry well, ones? Well, the. I say anti tank these days at strength 10, it's anti heavy infantry. Okay, so you, but the, the, the more stronger, powerful missiles. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. I have a unit of Dominions or the Palatine. The Palatine has got the Blade of Sun Eleanor. Again, if you're not doing this in Sister's Army, what the hell are you doing? Because <laughs> that blade gets nasty. Nasty blade. And Dominion then... Squad with a combi weapon and four melt guns. Why couldn't they keep the old combi weapon profiles? Boo GW. Uh, yeah, I, I, I used to really love combi melters, but never mind. Yeah, so lots of, and they're essentially going to split because you've got them in two emulators. Yep, yeah, which, well, come with twin multi melters, heavy bolton, nothing exciting. Cool. There's also anti killers on the tanks, but yeah, I lost the bits long ago to put on them, so. Yeah. That's all right, hunter killers. And the emulators, the Turner unit gets out when they've shot a target. Effectively. Unit gets out the emulator, emulator shoots at a target, the unit that got out of them gets bonuses to, for hitting that target. Okay, so similar-ish to like Razorbacks and Torx Primes yeah. and things. Okay, cool. Yep, then we have Rhinos, we all know what Rhinos are do. Yeah, I've got some too. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you got some Rhinos? Two of them have got a Battle Sister squad each with multi melter Melter and Combi Weapon. Yep. Rip, Combi Melters. And then, because I was running out of stuff, I've got a Rhino with Repentia, simply because law reasons, Repentia pants now. Well, if, if I had some chaff, they'd be good, but I haven't really got chaff today, unfortunately, except for my trousers, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> uh, is that everything? I think that's everything. Yeah, we went for everything. That's the, that's the sisters. Lot. Cool. Okay, so let's move on to the chaos. Yes, Chaos Space Marines. So what do Chaos Space Marines do? They have something called Dark Packs, essentially. Um, every unit, when it shoots or fights or does something, you can choose to give it lethal or sustained hits if you want to. And then the detachment rule is, depending on what mark they have, that goes off on fives, or fives and sixes, not just sixes. You get critical hits on fives. So, for example, Slanesh things get critical hits on fives in combat if you choose sustained hits. Nurgle things get sustained hits on fives when they're shooting and things like that. Uh, and obviously, after they've shot or fight, you take a dark pack test, which is essentially a leadership test. And if you pass, everything's all good. If you fail, you take some mortal wounds. But 
They're all good leadership, so why would you never not take a dark pact? Um, anyway, <laughs> so moving on to the list today. Um, I've got a Corn Demon Prince with wings, because he's really cool. He does mortal wounds as he goes charging in like a madman. Um, he's Corn, so he's trying for 10 with his strike and strength 8 with his sweep, which is pretty brutal. Um, and then he's got the Tasman of Burning Blood. So when he does a dark pact, which is always, he's going to get an extra D3 strength and an extra D3 attacks. So he can be, on average, going to have strength 12 with like eight attacks or something. It's um, an unbeatable hits on fives in combat. He's pretty brutal. Anyway, <laughs> one demon prince. Um, he's my warlord today. Uh, my other character today, only one other character today, is a warp smith, because I haven't actually used him in, well, ages. And I had some vehicles, so I thought I'll bring a warp smith. Mm. Essentially, you can point at a vehicle, give it plus one a hit, and heal it D3 wounds. And then I think if you get a vehicle within so many inches, you can do something, but I'll... But I'll, I'll bother reading that if it comes up later on. I sense he'll be hugging the landmaid a lot. Uh, I mean, it's quite spiky, but you might like that. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, and he's the Mark of Nurgle, just because he's got lots of guns, basically. Um, and he's going to be lone operative when he's near vehicles, so yay. Uh, I've got a unit of Plague Marines with all the toys. Three, three um, of the Plague... What are they called? Heavy melee weapons, whatever they are. A Blight Launcher, a Plague Spewer, a Plague Marines, obviously the Nurgle. Um, <laughs> I've got a unit of four obliterators. They have the Mark of Zinch, which is hilarious because for a CP, I can heal one and bring one back each turn, which is amazing. They're absolutely brutal at shooting things. So, obliterators. I've got a Nurgle Hellbrute. His job is to sit behind the Land Raider so you can't physically see it. And just give everything within six inches of him lethal and sustained hits on the dark pack instead of just one or the other. Mm -hmm. And also, if you do get a chance to shoot him, he's Nurgle. So if you're more than 18 away, I can say no. Because it's 18 inches now, not 12. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, unit of Warp Talons with Slash, for obvious reasons. Many attacks in combat. There we go. Um, they can jump around and do things. And then in each Slanesh Rhino, forget about the mark of corn on them, they're Slanesh Rhinos today because they have to be because of what's inside them. A unit of Slanesh Chosen and a unit of Noise Marines in each Rhino. The Chosen can advance, shoot and charge, full back, shoot and charge. They can do whatever they want. They're amazing. Um, each unit has two combi weapons, a Power Fist and two guys with a Cursed Weapons. Uh, and then the Noise Marines, each unit's got a Blast Master, three Sonic Weapons, and then the Champions have an, a Cursed Weapon, and a Doom Siren, or a really big guitar. Um, and obviously Rhinos have firing decks. So I'm going to be shooting Blastmasters out of Rhinos. Sounds like great fun. <laughs> I'll be shooting multi out of mine. Yeah, you can shoot multi out of yours. I'll shoot Blastmasters. But mine have got like 36 inch range. So Don't remind me. I'll, I'll just remind you that multi models only have an 18 inch range now. <laughs> I know. But at least Mark and Nurgle can't use against multi can't be used against multi melters now because it's 18 inches, so <laughs> boo hoo. Anyway, uh, both the rhinos have got combi bots and havoc launchers, they're rhinos. Uh, and then at the back here, I've got a Nurgle Lam Raider for obviously, you know, not shooting at shenanigans. Uh, with the last cannons, the heavy bolt was combi weapon havoc launcher. And inside will be a unit of Nurgle Terminators. Now, Terminators, when they do a dark pack, can reroll all their hits. And because they're Nurgle, when they're shooting, they'll be getting sustained on fives, which is lovely. Because all their shooting weapons have got devastating wounds. Four combo weapons and a Reaper Auto Cannon. It's not filthy. Don't copy this if you're playing Chaos. <laughs> Do, it's really good. Um, also got two Power Fists, two Accursed Weapons and a Chain Fist. Because that's just what they're modelled with, basically. Um, so, yeah, that is the list. We'll see how it does against the sisters who are doing it for themselves. And we'll come back for the roll-off. <laughs> Right, rolling for deployment and defender and attacker and things. After you, sir. Certainly. I get a six. Very nice. That's not a six. Would you like to defend or attack? If you defend, you can choose which side you're going to be on, but you have to deploy first. I'm going to defend. Okay, and where would you like to deploy, sir? I'm going to pick here. Oh, perfect. So that means the cows can go here, so I get a better camera angle. We'll deploy, we'll alternate, and we'll be back. Okay, deployment is done. Uh, as mentioned, the Chaos are down here. It's a very easy deployment for me. Um, well, I've had to put down his three tanks and a couple of units. Um, so I've got a Rhino on each flank with the Noise Marines and the Chosen in it. Uh, and in the centre behind this room, I've got Plague Marines, Waltzmith, Lamb Raider with the Terminators and a Hellbrook in it. And that's literally it for me. Really easy. It's the quickest deployment to talk through ever. Uh, I've got my Demon Prince in Deep Strike, the Obliterators in Deep Strike, the Warp Towns in Deep Strike. 
and then obviously everything else is in the tanks. So yeah, nice and easy. And then for yours, you've got your Calebius and Dimon. What, what's the other unit called? Demonifuge. Demonifuge. They're in deep strike. And obviously you got all your sisters in your tanks. Mm -hmm. So your deployment was fairly quick as well, really. Yeah. Um, got your war suits with Morgan Val, whatever yeah. she's called, on this Morgan. flank. Then you've got an emulator and a rhino that going down each street, looking really thematic and cool. You've put a castigator and an extra rhino on that flank mm -hmm. with the repentia rhino. And then, as mentioned, you put your, your home objective unit there to get you miracle dice and command points and all the things. And all the things, yep. And your indirect, fi indirect fire tank behind a ruin because indirect fire. Yep. Yeah, really simple, looking pretty cool. So you've got loads of tanks driving towards me, and I've hidden mine, but I've only got three. <laughs> and yes. then, also, and then these ones obviously have scout moves because of the what's the unit called inside them? The Dominions. The, the Dominions, weapon. yes. So, so they can scout move yeah. out the way if you lose the roll off potentially, or just. But you do. But you do have a land raider. I do have a land raider. Whereas, yes. where's the toughest tank I get is a Rhino chassis. Yeah, toughest nine. Well, oh. the Immolators and the Exorcist and the Cascade are toughest ten, but. Okay. Yeah, but but still a free up save and not many wins. Yeah. Yeah, I think Lamrina might trump that a little bit. Yeah. Maybe with his four last cannons. I can outrange you as well, but I have only got one. Even Colts get tougher tanks than we do. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the toughness of the tanks or the sisters, it's the faith in the Emperor or something like that. Yeah? It's going to have to be strong today, I think. <laughs> anyway, would you like to roll a dice there to see who goes first? This is a roll that does matter. Oh, yes. Previous, so the, ro previous roll didn't really. The most important roll of the game. Yeah, I always prefer going second, you know. Anyway, after you. I roll a two. Oh, you might be going second today. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be back after the scout moves and Battle Sisters turn one. <laughs> Commander movement phase. Right, so it's just as a battle turn one. On the secondaries, you got engaging on fronts and tempting target. You did spend a CP to get rid of behind enemy lines because that turn one is just a complete waste of time. Um, obviously, you got an extra CP and an extra miracle dice because of your unit back there. Mm -hmm. Miracle dice, two fours, which is quite good for advanced rolls as it came out. Um, because to get engaged, you needed to have at least freeze on the advances for the emulators. So you, you burnt a miracle dice on that one, zoom that one over there after disembarking its unit. So that's what's happened there because I chose this for the tempting target. Uh, and then this one you just rolled and it was enough to zoom forwards there for engage. Very nice. You've got all four quarters. Both the Rhinos advanced onto the other No Man's Land objective. So you're pretty much everywhere scoring lots of points. For engaging all fronts and tempting target. And also hopefully reducing the avenues for where your deep strikers can turn up. Yes, you're spreading out everywhere. Good board control. Your what are they called repentia in there, Ryan, it just moves forwards behind that one. And then your castigator and war suits are staying in the corners there because they've got nothing to shoot at, and at least then you get engaged because they're in the quarters. Mm -hmm. So yeah, nice simple. You burnt go through miracle dice because you spent the other one. What was the other one spent on? Was it spent on that one to get to there? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you're advancing all over the place, getting on objectives and getting secondary objectives. Yep. Good, good turn one. Well, and now we come to the very, very quick shooting phase because we have one unit. Yes, it's the indirect fire one. The organ! Which yep. can't shoot much, but cause it's only got a 36 inch range now, you said. But it can definitely shoot a rhino, and that's probably about it. Plague Marines are just out of reach, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go for that rhino then. This rhino here. Um, I could waste a CP popping smoke, but you might as well hit them getting cover anyway because it's indirect, so I'm not going to bother. But I'm also heavy, so I'm getting a plus one to hit. Yeah, it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Go on, go for it. D6 <clears throat> plus two shots. D6 plus two, okay. So that's a three. I think I'll be safe. <laughs> you do have a command point you're looking at. <laughs> How important is it for you to kill a rhino? Nah. I yeah. can't kill it, so I'll just take it. Okay, so hitting on a three. You got three shots. You got two more for the plus two. Oh yeah, you got three as well because that one missed. That one did miss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got two hits. Okay. And then for ten, you said. Yeah. So freeze to wound. Freeze to wound. Uh, two. Okay. Two minus two, so it becomes minus one. So four ups because of cover. I'm absolutely fine. Yeah. 
Ah. But it's like a battle shot test or something because you hit me. No, that, no. That, that was that tank. Yeah. That's what that was. I'm remembering things, but the wrong things. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, well, that's the end of my shooting and the end of my turn because there will be no charges. Nothing because everything advanced. Yes. But you've, no. but you've scored both your secondaries, so it's 10 points to nil. It's a good turn one, actually. You're everywhere scoring many points. Let's see yeah. what I can do. Okay, so Chaos Space Moon's turn one. I've got some catching up to do because you had a very good turn one. Ten points. But luckily, my secondaries aren't bad either. Overarming force and extend battle lines. So essentially I have my home objective and one in no land at the end of my turn. That's okay, that's fine. I've got, I've, one thing I've got like you is mobility, so that's fine. Overarming force, kill things off objectives. You put lots of units on objectives for me to kill. <laughs> so yes, it should be okay. Um, essentially what I've done is this Rhino, the Chosen got out, advanced, because Chosen can advance, shoot and charge. They ran all the way over here. The Noise Marines got out, they just moved onto the objective, so that's now my objective. And the Rhino just moved back a little bit, in case I get investigating signals or something next turn or something weird, and he can shoot things. Um, so the Chosen are there, Noise Marines are there, they can deal with infantry and whatever's over that side. The Walksmith gave the Land Raider possible to hit, naturally. And it's driven around the corner a little bit, it's going to shoot and blow up that tank, hopefully, and then... What's here can then kill whatever comes out of it, and I can kill that, and basically lots of death and screaming and ah is going to be going on over there. The Hellbrooks ran over here as well, just to stay near the Lamb Raider, because then I get lethal and sustain hits on fives, because Nurgle, hilarious, great fun. So that's what's going on here. Terminators are still in there, didn't need, the, didn't need them just yet. Plague Marines spread out a bit, they're a bit slow, but they can do that. Um, and on this flank, the Chosen got out the Rhino and advanced onto that objective there. So again, it's my objective. Um, and then they've got combi weapons and power fists and things. They can shoot some sisters and maybe charge and punch a rhino. I don't know. I might as well do because I can fall back and do things anyway. They're chosen. Uh, and the noise marines have stayed in that rhino just to stay safe for now. They can shoot things, fire and deck. It's a great rule. Let's use it. Um, so, yeah, <coughs> essentially, I'm going to start off with the land raider, putting everything into that Himalaya. I am going to pop through. You are going to pop smoke. Okay. Uh, and obviously I'm doing a dark pack for sustained hits because it's Nurgle. But I'll get sustained and lethal hits because Hellbrook. So I'm hitting on threes now instead of twos. But fives and sixes will be lethal and sustained. This could be painful. It's not going to be painful. Your smoke has kept you alive, sir. <laughs> Brilliant. Heavy bolters. Well, they're all lethal and sustained. The heavy bolters will do the work. And um, your toughness, 10 on the emulator? 10 on the emulator. Okay, so six hits, but re rolling. Twin links. Uh, that is five. Uh, minus one, but cover. So five free up saves, two damage each. Five free ups. Okay. Five wounds with heavy bolters that only had three shots. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> Well, no, unfortunately, unfortunately not. <laughs> You're praising the wrong god. <laughs> okay, let's see. Five for you. Yeah. I'm not going to use my dice. The amp of attack. You take four damage. Okay. That is a that is a fine. Yeah, because you had a miracle dice in my command phase and got yet another four. Uh, drop that on the tank for me. Seven, yeah. Seven left. Seven. Okay. Right. The marker nerd up. Have a launcher. Two shots. On freeze because of your smoke nonsense, but they're both lethal and both sustained. <laughs> Sixes. No, two more free ups. One damage each. The yeah, other protects. Double protects. Double protects. Right. Combi weapon is within rapid fire range, but this will hit on fours because it's a combi weapon. That's lethal. And sustained, and then this will need a six, but it's devastating. No. So just one more free up, and that's the last shot from the Lamb Raider. We've Five. survived the Lamb Raider. Ah, oh, this is why I just like having a bad one for rerolls. Um, dark pack test for the Lamb Raider. It's fine. Got a seven. Lovely. Okay. Right. So you've got seven wounds remaining. That is frustrating. Let's shoot something else at you. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I do have two CP actually, which could be interesting. Uh, the noise marines are going to throw a little cheeky grenade at your tank. Because that's, that's fun for a CP. Let's do that. Six dice. Six dice, four up some mortal wounds. Do you have any funny pains to mortal wounds? No. No, good. Don't be silly. That is 
five mortal wounds. That was a good grenade, that was. Knock so it got, down to two. So we've got two left. Yeah. I love the grenade stratagem. And then they're going to shoot everything into that immolator. And I will do... Oh, do, I do Remember, that. smoke is still out. Yes. Do I want to do a dark pact? I might as well do dark pact for lethal hits, I think. Because I'm wounding you on bad otherwise, because you're toughness 10. But I'll shoot the Blastmaster first. This is going to be fun. Okay. That's... How the hell is that? That's happening? a four. The no lethal hits. Uh, I'm wounding you on fives at strength nine. That is one. AP two, but cover. So four up save, flat three damage. From the Blast Master. I'm going to dice that. You're going to miracle dice that. Lovely. And then I've got many Sonic Blaster shots. Let's do those. Okay, loads of Sonic Blaster shots. Here we go. Uh, hang on, I've got three. Three of them, not four of them. The other guy's got a Doom Siren. Sonic Blaster, six is a lethal, which is nice. I've got a couple. Hitting on fours because you'll smoke. And then strength five, but your stuff has ten. So six is. No, so just two. Two three plus saves from the Sonic Blasters. How much damage are these? Just one each. Okay, the Emperor protects. Yes. So you lost a wound. Down to one. One remaining. And then I I'm have the Doom Siren for D6 auto hits. Oh. For free. Which you wound you on sixes. One. One. Three plus save. Or death. I do have a CP Weevil. Should I need it? You do. The Emperor for decks. He does. Okay, right. So you survive the Noise Marines. A dark pack test for them. They fail, they take D3 mortal wounds. For two, one of them dies screaming, going, ah! Yep. Okay, I'll take that one. Yeah, what do I take? Uh, yeah, let's take that one. That's fine. Right, okay, so you've got a wound left. I'll shoot the rhino at you. All right. You're getting desperate. <laughs> I will do a dark pack for lethal hits with the rhino as well, because I don't care if the rhino fails, it's a rhino. I'll start off with a combi weapon. It is in rapid fire range, which when I hit on fives, because there's smoke. So they both missed. Uh, and then I've got habit launcher for d6 for four. That's nice. Straight on fours. Six is a lethal. Two hits. Moving on sixes. No. You survive. Dark pack test. It's Bob fine. There. No, that was, that, was the, that was the... Oh, oh, you, yeah. oh, you got combi weapon. Combi weapon, yeah. Okay. Uh, See, I don't get that. I just get a stun bolt. Yeah, I think the Chaos ones, you can have a combi bolt or any combi weapon if you really wanted to. But I'll just do with what they're modelled with. Um, this one. It's got a wound left. Bad mind killing that one doesn't help you score any of your points. Yeah, but I want it dead because then the chosen can murder all the sisters that get out. That one's got no one inside it. So this rhino is going to put everything into your own layer. Okay. All right. I'll just start with the blastmaster. I'll do a dark pact for lethal hits from that as well because why not? Okay. Blastmaster on fours because uh, what do they have on fours anyway? It might be fives because I think they're fours, but heavy. They, they've all missed anyway. Uh, have it launch it. One shot. Hits. Doesn't wound. Um, that's got a combi bolter, so that's two shots from that range. And they both miss. And I've got a sonic blaster out the hatch as well. I've got a lethal hit. There we go. One free up save or death. The Emperor protects. If I shoot enough shots, it will finally die. It does not. No, fine. Top pat test. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Um, okay. I'll think about what to do with that in a second. Let's move on to the chosen over there shooting everything into this unit here. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to dark pack the. Ch I will dark pack the chosen actually because I got a chaos icon actually, which they do as well. I've just remembered. I gave them more units icons because you can, so I can actually reroll their one. Which means the guy wouldn't have died, so I'll put him back. I've remembered things. <laughs> They've all got icons. Right, so I will duck pat that unit over there for sustained hits. All right? Because they're shooting infantry and things. The combi weapons are in rapid fire range, so I'll start with those. So they're going to hit on fours because combi weapons. But sixes will explode. 
And then they'll wound you on freeze, because toughness free. Yep. But four ops are devastating him. <laughs> so just two normal normal wounds from combi weapons. Not very often you see that. Two free ups. Two free ups. The Emperor protects. Well, one of them falls over going, ah! Oh, then, well. And then I have three guys with bolt guns. We'll kill her off. Which are six more shots from the bolters. So freeze, sixes will explode. Got one explosion. And wounding on freeze. Uh, just two. Two more free ups from the bolt guns. Oh, kill two more though. Okay. Uh, it's a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. Uh, dark pad test for them. They're fine. Cool. Okay. So, one more unit I've chosen. Right, final unit to shoot. I've got to shoot your tank, so I want to charge what goes out of it. I could kill your tank in combat. I could do that. You but I want have to. But I want to kill the tank and kill the people that get out of it. So, you, know, you know that thing could yeah. just explode and I could lose everything inside anyway, in which case you could. I thought I'd chosen to charge that rhino, hopefully kill it, overarming force. Charge that, because I still need to kill things on objectives, you see. I could just shoot and finish them off. And then charge, but then they're going to get out and kill things. Is it this? It's at this moment where I, I regret not getting the Terminators out of the Lamb Raider to have to have some extra shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Right. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Exactly. Um. Okay. Right. Because you got two battle sisters there. How many wounds has the other girl got? Three. Three. So there's only five wounds there. By my mind, when they died, <clears throat> I could spend a CP to get her back up. Yeah, but if she dies, and it still be points for overwhelming force, and it still kill the unit. Well, technically, that's two units of a kill the sister squad on the character. Yeah. <sighs> I'll shoot everything into them because points. Yeah. All right. So combo weapons first. At least I'm hitting them on fours with the combo weapons instead of fives as well, because there's yeah. no smoke or nonsense. Uh, I'll dart pack for sustained hits as well. So combo weapons on fours. And then these will be uh, four ups are devastating. So one of the sisters just dies. Yep. Devastating wound. And then I've got some bolt guns. Oh, can I kill a sister with some bolt guns? Freeze. Sixes explode. Oh dear, that's terrible. One explosion. Freeze to wound. Oh, three free up saves though. I'm assuming the character's got a free up save as well. Yeah. Yeah. Four up in one. Three free ups. So I can't kill the character, but I have killed the battle sister and took a wound off the character. Yep. Okay. So that's a unit off an objective at least. And right. And that will be a miracle dice for me. Yes. Right. Into the charge phase. I've had a cunning plan. Charge a rhino into your emulator, and in the charge phase, I can tank shock as soon as it ends its charge move. Blow up your emulator, then charge the occupants. But it's a ten-inch charge. I've only got one CP, so I can't even reroll this and do tank shock. Mm -hmm. He's made the charge. Oh dear. <laughs> right, I'm going to spend that CP now on yeah. tank shock. We can only roll the base number of attacks because your strength is not higher than my toughest. Yeah, so it's a dice per, per strength, isn't it? Which I believe on a rhino is six. Yep, so six attacks. So five ups. You need at least one five here. I've killed it. Two. Does it go boom boom? Does it explode in your face? Let's see. I hope so. No. And then you've got five or six in it? Five. Five, right. Five dice. Oh, I don't see any ones here. One's a mortal wounds. Two of them die screaming, going, ah! Right, we'll get three of them out, and then I can continue the charge phase. Okay, so that looks like that. You've got three sisters there out of engagement range because they've come out of the transports. And I can continue charging. And I just had a thought, obviously the rhino's charged this turn. I can activate it and pile in and fight in the fight phase. So the rhino can then continue driving forwards and run them over, which would be great fun. But other charges first. Chosen, into that rhino there. By all means. They def I'm doing well on my charges today. That's a 10. Let's put that there as a reminder. That rhino is just going to bump into that emulator because... 
Yeah, another 10, right, fine. Uh, and then that Chosen is going to go into that Rhino over there. A 5. I've got a low charge, but it's still enough because they're right next to you. Um, and that'll be my charges. Fairly successful charge phase, if I do say so myself. Right, all the charge charging units have been moved in. It looks like so. Uh, I'm going to affect my, my Rhino first. He's going to pile in, and he's going to hit these Battle Sisters. I'm going to do a Dark Pact. He's a Celeste Rhino. So I'm going to go for sustained hits. Okay. So I'm going to run you over on freeze. Fives and sixes will explode. <coughs> Bless you. And I've got one explosion. So I think every time. It's strength six. Your toughness puny woman. So two. Twos. I've still failed once though. Two free up saves and those battle sisters. Not battle sisters. Dominions. Yep. Special battle sisters. Yep. Uh, and they're absolutely fine, but they're locked up in combat. Uh, and then I've got my dark pack test with the rhino. Which passes lovely jubbly. Right, moving on to Chosen. <coughs> Bless you. Hitting that Rhino there. They're also going to dark pack for the same hits because Celeste Chosen. I will start with the Power Fists. So Here freeze, fives and sixes explode. Why am I rolling that many dice? There's only one Power Fist. Let me start that again. I've counted out the dice wrong. <coughs> that should be, there we go. Right, one Power Fist, one Power Fist per five. Drop dice don't count. Freeze! Fives and sixes explode. I've only hit you twice with a power fist. And then your toughness nine, so fives. One! One five up, two damage. One times the Emperor protects. You, he does. Granted. And then I've got many, many accursed weapons. Freeze with fives and sixes. Doing the explosions. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So I've hit you more times than I had attacks. Lovely. I like it when that happens. Yeah. Uh, and these are winning on fives, though. But so was the Power Fist, so it's fine, really. One, two, just the four. Five. What you say? Five up saves, one damage. Hang your dice is down there, Bannon. Yeah, I'll find it. Oh, so. Four, four five ups. Four, five AP ups. two. So four more times, the Emperor protects. Uh, he does a couple of the times. I'm assuming they're sixes. Yep. Yeah. So takes two wounds. I've taken two wounds off a of rhino. So down to eight wounds. Yes. Corn wants it now. Top pack test for the chosen. They're fine. Lovely. Right. Move over to the other chosen. Rinse and repeat. Same thing. I'll just do the dark pack test now while I'm here. They fell with the one icon. They still fail. So one one of them will take. So one of them does die. Brilliant. I'll do that in a second. Power fist. Threes and fives and sixes will explode. That's a bit better. And then fives. One! One five up. One times M for Pedex. No. Right, two damage so far on that one. You didn't protect that time. Okay. And then all the accursed weapons. Threes with fives and sixes doing the sustained goodness. Uh, one, two, three, go back in. Well, the Power Fist did better than the other unit, but the first weapon did worse than the other unit. So it balances out, doesn't it? Fives. Two. Two more five ups. Two more times, the Emperor protects. Uh, take one more. So that one's on eight, that one's on seven, but one of those Chosens have fallen over. Yeah, so when you collect your Chosen, you can drop that on it. Yep, yeah, cool. I'll do that in a moat. And then one Rhino. I might as well do a Dark Pack with that Rhino as well. Yeah. You'll bump into that Rhino. Uh... Let's do sustained, why not? So fours. They've all missed. Brilliant. Dark pad test. He's fine. Right, cool. Let's sort all that out. Right, at the end of the fight phase, we did the fight backs with the tanks, the rhinos, the emulators, and the sisters here. The only wound you caused was a wound on the chosen, which was a bit cheeky, but you managed to do that. Uh, so at the end of Chaos Turn, I did score eight secondaries for overwhelming force and extent battle lines. Into Sisters turn two, you got some more Miracle Dice and things, because Miracle Dice. Uh, and you got Cleanse and Defend Stronghold. So at the end of my next turn, if you've got that, three points. Fairly straightforward, you've got a lot on there. Um, and then you do you need to do actions on, ideally, two objectives in No Man's Land in your shooting phase. But you need to control the objectives when you start doing the action. So essentially, what you've done is, they stayed in combat. This Rhino's pulled back. Morgan Val's done her once per game 
steroid usage, yeah, for want of a better name. Righteous for pregnancy, it's called. <laughs> okay, uh, and then she's coming around the corner with the war suits. I'm assuming you're planning on killing the Chosen. Um, well, killing something. Killing something. There's plenty here to kill. And then your Repenture and the Rhino parked in the middle to give you something else on that objective. They're probably going to do the action there, I guess, or something. Um, other tanks stay into combat. Your rhino, that Rhino has fallen back because it's a Rhino. But before that, you did get your scissors out and ran one of them onto the objective um, to potentially cleanse it once your Castigator, which came around the corner, blows up the Chosen. Which is... I'm assuming that's your game plan. That is the hopeful game plan. Yeah. Uh, and then I spent a CP at the end of your movement phase to so drop down my Demon Prince over there because then in my turn I can fly around the corner and murder a tank or something, basically. Mm-hmm. I don't like multi-melters this close in my deployment zone. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he is only toughness 9. See, I don't like multi-melters. So let's smash the things that have melters. Uh, but anyway, moving on to your shooting phase, I guess. Where would you like to start? Um, let's start with the obvious. We'll start with the castigator. Yes, and that's going where? Into the Chosen, the obvious unit. Into the Chosen, cool. What are you going to start with? Okay. I will state we're not going to fire the anti-killer missile this turn. Yes. We're going to it. But... Okay. We're going to start with the smallest weapon and work out. Okay, I mean, the Chosen are three wounds each. Is your, <coughs> is your battle cannon three damage? Yes. Did you not want to start with that? Oh, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> it would D- make sense. D6 plus three shots. Yes. Luckily, one of my Chosen killed themselves. You're not getting an extra shot from Blast, which is handy. That's a bit annoying, but... It is, yeah. Four shots. Four shots. I'm assuming you hit on freeze. Yeah. Cool. Because I haven't been wounded yet. And you've hit twice. And toughness four, you are wounding on twos. That's AP... Minus one. Minus one. Okay, four up saves or death. Two of them chose death. So I've got two chosen left. What have we got now? Three heavy bolters? Yep, let's do them. Let's do them. Heavy bolters, so nine shots, please. Yes. Sixes are sustained. And you've got many sixes. I think you've got as many sixes as you had misses. Yep. So essentially you've hit every single time. Strength five. Very nice. Winning on freeze. And you wounded every time. Okay. Nine saves, minus one. Two down your piece. This is going to be painful. That's what I'm hoping. Yes. Um, four ups. Two damage. Um... I've got a chosen left on a wound. Okay. Basically, and you've got a storm bolter or something? Yeah. Which is definitely in rapid fire range. So, threes. So, you've got three hits and you're winning on fours. One. Three up or death. He's on a wound. He's alive on a wound. Huzzah! But you think a battle shot test now or something? Or is that, or is that monsters and vehicles? That monsters about? and vehicles. Okay, but I've got one guy left. Right, moving on to the Repentry Rhino, you're going to Storm Bolt with the final Chosen, and you've missed both times. Okay. <laughs> oh well, in that case, let's get rid of him. Exorcist. Exorcist to finish him off, okay. D6, class 2. Getting better. Well, yeah, it's twice as good as last time. <laughs> Getting on freeze because they're heavy. Yeah. Right. And you're winning on two, strength 10 or something? Yep. Three. Okay. What's the, what's the AP of that? Two. Okay, so four ups. Uh, he's dead. He's very dead. Okay, so you've cleared me off of that objective. Yep. So you can most certainly do some cleansing with your battle sisters. That's the plan. The palatine is going to cleanse that. In the so, middle. Yep, okay. So shooting. We'll do that. Emulator into that rhino, and we will use the hunter killer here. Oh, you might as well do, because you know you're probably going to get smashed by a demon prince in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but you might as well hit because you're in combat and you're not wounded at the moment. Well, we'll start with hitting on a four. Okay. And then we really want a three hunter killer. Save the dice. No. That's fine. Two multi multi shots. Yep. So hitting on fours because you might as well hit. Oh dear. Oh, I should have well. used the dice there, but that's on me. And of course, well, a heavy bolter. I mean, it's only a rhino. Well, the heavy bolter's doing well. You've got a sustained hit as well. Lovely. Five. Nice to win, Jim. Yeah. 
No. No. But it looked promising. It looked promising, but no. No. Okay. Uh, three bolt pistols. Let's just get them out of the way now. Oh, what? Into the rhino? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on then. So, twos. Yeah, because they're angry. But then you need sixes. Yep. Uh, what? I get one. You got a cheeky little bolt pistol shot, but I'm fine. Yeah. And then you've got another rhino, and you've got your more than No, because that one's out of combat. So that one can't shoot. So oh, yes. So, it's so, just Val and her friends. Her, her posse. What, what, are they, uh, what are they shooting at? The rhino that's in combat with no, with no one in it? No. No? We're going to shoot at the Chosen. You're going to shoot the Chosen? No, we're going to shoot noise rings. You're going to shoot the noise rings? Yes. Because you're going to charge the Chosen. That is the plan. Yes. Sounds like a good plan to me. <coughs> Right, starting with Morgan Val with a souped up bolter thing, whatever it is. So hitting on twos. With hitting on twos. And this is into the noise marines. And she gets rerolls because thingy, does it have sustained hits as well? I'm assuming it does. It's a big heavy bolter thing. Yep. Strain six. Reading on threes. Yeah, three rolls. Because she's reading a unit. Very nice. Seven. Seven at minus one. Minus one. Four ups. I'm assuming it's at least two damage. Two damage, please. So you killed two noise marines. Right. And now for her crack missiles. Yes, she likes the crack because Morgan Vale. But she gets re-rolls so just as well. I think that's better, let's see. Strength nine, so we on threes. Twos. Twos, oh yeah. Two more, AP. Minus two. Uh, one's probably going to die. D6 damage though, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh, try again. We'll find that later. <laughs> That's another one gone. <laughs> okay. Let's do the grenade launchers next. Oh, and the uh, war suit people. Yeah, and then we do the multi -nuts. So, hit on freeze. They hit. Very nice. Are these all crap grenades, are they, or something? Yep, strength down. Oh, okay. Twos again. Three. Three at minus two. Minus two. Uh, eight damage. D3. Okay, one D3. I'll use a dice. Miracle dice set. Kill another one. Cool. And then you got your uh, <coughs> three <coughs> multi melters of the melter variety. Yep. This so could be painful. So, oh, freeze. You're hitting every time. They're doing well today. Yep. And twos. Twos. It's AP4. I think he's dead. Well and truly. Yes. Right. Well, that worked pretty well. Is that the end of your shooting? Yes, that is the end of my shooting. Right. Right. Charge phase. Morgan Vell into the Chosen. It's not very far, so you should be fine. And I've got plenty of CP for rebots. Yes. Not that I need should be it. You're definitely in. It's a 10. Do we're both doing well on charge rolls. Yeah. Um, so in they go. And I will be tank shocking. Oh, we should, oh, of course they're vehicles, aren't they? Yes. Nice. Right, so tank shot with one of the war suits because they've got lots of strength. So 14 dice, 5 up mortal wounds. So only a maximum of 6. And I'm pretty sure you're going to get your 6. 1, 2, 3, 4 actually. Oh, okay. Well, you've killed the guy on 2 wounds and you've put the guy down to a wound. Yeah. So, not bad for a CP. Seems like you had loads of CP to start with. Yep. And then you can start swinging away. That's some chosen. It's almost like you've chosen them for death. I may have done. Serves them right for being filthy chaos worshippers. Filthy chaos worshippers. Well, yeah, fair enough. Right, starting with Morgan Vow, you got extra attacks and things because she took her steroids this turn. So, you're doing your strike attack or focus, whatever it's called, focus one? Strike yep. attack, the big the big one. Yep, strike attack. So she's hitting on twos? Twos, with rerolls, because she's leading the unit. Yes. Did the rerolls for only her or for the whole unit? Whole unit. That's really good, isn't it? So you hit every time. Lovely. And then you're definitely running on twos, because it's eight or higher, isn't it? Strength eight. Yeah, so twos. Twos, sixes are dead woods. Very nice. You're going to do one of them? Okay, so one of them's gone straight through. 
Um, as has another two, and there's five saves to make. What's the AP? Um, the AP is two. AP two. Let's just get those there. So five ups. What's the damage? Uh, three damage, please. Oh, look, they're all dead. Because you killed four plus the three devastating wounds. Yeah, yeah, they're dead. I think you would have killed, like, seven chosen. There was only four. Eh, had to make sure of them. Right, time for the rhino to bump into some sisters. Uh, I'll do a dark pack again for the same hits, because it's a slash rhino. So fours with fives and sixes exploding. Oh, there we go. Every time. Uh, two to wound. Three. Three free up saves on your dominions. And I haven't splatted any of them. Brilliant. Right. We've got some fight backs to do, but we'll, we'll do them off camera. Not much else is going to happen. Yeah. We'll do the emulator first. Okay. Chaos Space Wings turn two. We did the fight backs off camera with the tanks and the sisters. No damage was caused. Uh, that was a good, good fight back for the sisters there. Eh? You killed all my chosen and a big chunk of my noise marines. And you've, you've parked yourself all over the place on the middle objectives. So I need to try and get you off them. Um, my secondaries this turn though are not great. Catch them in the outposts. That's not going to happen. Area denial. Maybe I might be able to do something about it. But that unit probably has got lots of flamers on purpose. Just in case you try yeah. and go for it. Yeah, dropping in warp tons and charging that lot is not a good idea. They might oh, get burned. Oh, please do! Oh, well, no. Why um, will be flamers? But it's only three points for defence stronghold. I'll let you have them. That's fine. Uh, so this turn, I'm going to almost ignore these and just kill as much as I can. <laughs> kill as much as I can. I can maybe... I'm planning on charging into the middle of the Terminators. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get Aerodynal because... I don't think I can get you more than three inches away from the centre because even if you disembark from the rhino you're still going to have something within three of the centre so I can't really do that so kill things ditch those through a sepia into my turn basically anyway so what have I done Wartsmith has told the land raider to shoot better because last turn it didn't shoot very well <laughs> so let's try again if at first you don't succeed try and try and try again he's drove down the road Terminators have disembarked. There's an assault ramp. Let's use it as a core rule. I don't know why they ever got rid of it. So the Terminators can shoot and then potentially charge something. So that's the plan there. Uh, Obliterators have dropped down here in this little gap here between the Land Raider and the Hellbrute. Because, well, indirect fire is a thing. Let's indirect the crap out of them. Um, and then Plague Marines are staying here. Because Plague Marines, that Rhino that was in combat with those Battle Sisters or Dominions, fell back behind there. Fine. This Rhino stayed in combat. He can shoot the sisters and just stay locked up with your tank. Demon Prince has flown around the corner. He's going to charge and murder it. The Noise Marines, though, did get out of the Rhino. They've gone here and they're going to dacker a bunch of sisters with a load of noise weapons. Burst their eardrums or something. That might be a thing. Um, let's see if some battle sisters like listening to rock music at very close vicinity. They probably do. No. I mean, like, come they on, they but... prefer orchestras, don't they? I mean, come on. They've got organs and everything. They don't, I don't think they like guitars. I don't know. The way they're dressed, they are more like punk rock goth girls. Well, they're not going to like this sort of music anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the plan, essentially. Kill these, maybe charge that, kill all this, kill all them, and then you'll only be on the central objective, which you should still be able to hold, even if I kill you running with my Terminators, because you'll out Osimi once you disembark. But still... Kill things and kill enough that I don't have to worry about points this turn, basically. So, I'm going to start the shooting phase with Zeland Raider shooting. Actually, let's not start with the Land Raider, actually. Let's start with the Obliterators putting everything into Morgan Vale's unit. I'll do their once per game indirect fire thing, and I'll do a Dark Pact for Lethal Hit because they're Zinch, but they're staying next to a Hellbrook, so they'll be getting Lethal and Sustained, and they'll be shooting many shots. Yeah, this could be interesting. At them. Okay, so obliterators into them. 4d3 melter shots. Here we go. That That's many, many shots. That That's 11 shots. Nah, it could be a problem. That's a bit more than average. That might uh, be a problem. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Yes, so that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. But it is indirect, so I'm hitting you on falls. But 5s and 6s will be lethal and sustained. So most of my hits will just do things... Well, there's a couple of frees which I've missed. Quite a few frees, actually. But I've got four lethals. Which also explode because of Hellbrook. 
And the strength 12, so I'm winning on freeze. Or the toughness 6 or less. I think you're actually winning on twos. Give me a second. Well, I rolled dice while you check him. You'll be winning on twos. Didn't make any difference. Because you're strength 12, aren't you? Yes. So yeah, you're winning on twos. The obliterators have good melters. Um, so I've got 4, 8, and AP3, but indirect. But you've got 4 pinballs anyway, haven't you? So eight, four plus invulnerable saves. Okay. Got four damage a pop. Okay. And I'm assuming they've all got the same saves and no feel no pains or anything going on. No. No, so just eight four ups then, and we'll see where the chips fall. <laughs> okay. Obliterators are brutal. Okay. Well, I'm going to do these one at a time because of how are you? Because you've got middle. miracle dice from things. Yeah. Okay. That's the first one. So far, so good. It's going well. Okay. One so, dead. So it's one dead. Two dead. Three dead. And then you got three more saves to do on Morgan Vale. Yep. Hmm. How many wins has she got? Eight. Ooh. So you need to pass two out of the three, basically, yep. for her to live. So first one. Pass. There's well, one passed. Second one. Failed. Ooh. You got lots of you got a couple of fours. And the last one you also pass. Okay, so she survives on four wounds. But they're all dead. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Yep. So Dark Pat test. I fail, I take mortal wings. What was this? And I get dice for losing the bosses. Okay. And I take three wounds on the obliterator, but it's fine, they got five wounds each. So I don't get the rerolls anymore because she's not in the gear now. No. Okay. But she's still on the objective. I don't like that. I want her I want her dead. She's got four wounds remaining. Okay. Right, so Morgan Vale survives on four wounds, and there's a thing you just mentioned that you could spend a CP into Miracle Dice to bring her back into the phase. Yeah. So my plan of killing her off the objective probably isn't going to work, but at least I killed the three things and sort you from getting your rerolls and things. Yeah. So that's it's still good. Um, so slight change of plan on the land raider. I'm going to put everything into the rhino, apart from a cheeky combi weapon, which will go into Morgan Vale because why not? Okay. And I'll do a dark pat on the land raider for sustained hits, hell breach there. We will know what's going on. Right, combi weapon into Morgan Vale. Let's start with that. So this is going to hit on fours, but fives and sixes will be lethal and sustained. So that's lethal, which is also sustained. And then I'm wounding on a... Not that. So just one two-up save on Morgan Vale. Oh dear. Oh, I've done a cheeky wound. But not the way I was expecting to do the cheeky wound. I was expecting to do it for a devastating wound or something. But okay. She didn't like that. Right. Did you want to pop smoke or anything with this rhino? Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff coming its way. Yes. Okay. So these are going to hit on freeze now then. Oh, it's better than last time. Because last time they all missed, didn't they? There you go. Swings and roundabouts. Leaf and sustained. And then freeze. And they've all wounded as well. But at least you're getting cover because there's smoke. So that is six. Uh, six five ups because of cover. This is what should have happened the first shoot phase. <laughs> Six, five Six five up saves from four last cannon shots. It's not bad, is it? Okay, so six five ups. How much damage are these going to be for the last cannon? D6 plus one each. Okay. It's, it's pain, is what it is. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. Oh, oh. Damn. We'll get that later. Try again. Oh, good so far. No, so that's one that's gone through. One that's gone through. Another one that's gone through. Two more. Oh, yeah. Uh, roll that one. Ooh. And dice one. And your dice one. So two go two, only two have gone through in the end. Okay. And you've got nine wounds. So I'm getting, I need to get seven, essentially, on two dice. It's the average. Okay. Let's hope you roll out. I have rolled low, so four plus two is six. So you're on three remaining, but I've still got the heavy bolsters. And we saw how much damage they did last time. And I haven't launched, actually. Oh, we're dropping lots of dice today. Heavy bolsters <laughs> on fours because of smoke. Uh, freeze rather because what smith, it makes no difference. Uh, they're lethal and sustained because hellbrute. And then fives, but twin linked because they're twin linked. So that is five free ups, two damage each. I need two to go through. I'm hoping none go through. Oh, 
We've one. got one move left. One goes through. And then I've got the Havoc Launcher. Come on, Havoc Launcher. Here we go. <laughs> D6 shots for four. Which will hit on freeze because Walt's been smoking things. I've only got one hit, but it is a hit which is lethal and sustained, which then also wounds as well. So two three plus saves on one wound remaining. <laughs> the Emperor protects. Oh, it's gone. Ooh. Oh, command point. Yep. Okay. Because that'll just really annoy you. It will, yeah. Oh, oh. it still didn't work. Does it go boom? Does it go boom? No. And you've got ten sisters inside? Yeah. Right. Let's see how many of them fall screaming, going, ah, as they disembark from the rhino and they get lit up by a unit of Terminators. That, that might happen. I mean, it will. But... <laughs> uh, two of them get out screaming, and the rest of them get out in a perfectly orderly fashion. Right, the remaining eight sisters have got out like that. I can still see them, but you get in cover. Dark Pat test for the Land Raider. He's perfectly fine. He loved it. He enjoyed himself that turn, that Land Raider. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, moving on to the Terminators, they're going to light up the sisters that just got out the Rhino. And they're Noble Terminators, so they're going to dark pack for sustained hits. Oh, boy. Lovely time. Um, so these are all the combi weapons, which are going to be hitting on fours, but the Terminators that have done dark pack, they're rerolling all hits. Yeah. So fours rerolling, fives and sixes will explode. So I'm going to reroll everything that's not a five or six. Because... Most of my hits are going to explode. So let's give that a go. Yeah. So one normal hit, three explodings. That's not bad. And he's winning on threes, but fours are more devastating. There we go. Um, so there's four dead sisters and two free up saves. Four dead sisters and two free up saves. And two free up saves. And then I've got the auto cannon after this as well. Okay. Thinking about keeping them alive. I'll give you a moment. Right, three up saves. Pass They're that. fine. Okay, so just fall down. Let's see. Uh, and then I've got the auto cannon. Okay, four sisters remain. You made your two saves. Auto cannon then to go and finish them off. Which hit and freeze, re rolling. So I'll just re roll just to miss this time. That is a sustained hit. There's Nurgle. And then this is strength seven, so it's really on twos, but six is a devastating. Yeah. Well, yours is strength seven, mine are nine. Well, it's not a normal auto cannon, it's a reaper auto cannon. It's, got, it's, it's like an assault cannon, but better. Because that goes straight through, and then you've got four AP1, but you didn't cover. So four free up saves. And one's dead already. And one's dead already. Right, so let's take the dead one away. Yeah. That's the sounds they make when they die. Uh, and you've got four free ups on three remaining sisters, but you do have to up a dice. So you spend a dice. Okay. But then we'll murder the baby. Murder the baby? To get the six. Cool, okay. And so we've we got three more free up saves. So three more free ups. Does the Emperor protect? I'm hoping so. Uh, well, he saves one sister. There's one sister remaining who's going to be very, very angry. Yeah. Uh, Dark pack test for the Terminators. And they fail, actually. Oh, nice and high, nice and high. So one of them takes two wounds. Wow. So, that one. Right, okay. So you've got one sister left there, a couple of sisters left there. That rhino fell back. And in fact, can that multi to see the guys that shot her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she can just about see that terminator. Um, then I'm going to send a CP and fire back. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Okay, all right. See, perfectly fair. Yeah, so she can shoot the Terminators, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So... Two hits. Uh, well, you don't get heavy bonuses in your opponent's turn, because you can't remain stationary in a Boom. turn that's not your turn. And one hit. So you get one hit, and then you're wound on a two, because you get plus one wound. And I can't use a miracle dice, because I used it on the same foot. Yes. you definitely got a wound. Four up invulnerable save, or death. Death, you've killed a Terminator. Vengeance! CP for a Terminator. Sounds like a fair trade to me. <laughs> right. I was hoping to get two of them. Well, could have done. Could have done. 
Um, right, okay. Let's move over to this flank to do some things. Okay, I'll finish shooting on this flank now. I think I've done enough damage with guns on this side, so I'm going to move over to the other side. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Rhino that's in combat. It's going to shoot everything into that squad of sisters, because the Hammer Launcher's got Blast, you see, which is lovely. So it's going to get D6 plus two shots. Um, I will do a Dark Pact for sustained hits as well, I think. Okay. So D6 plus two on the Hammer Launcher for four. It's almost as good as your Exorcist's random number of shots. Uh, it's going to hit on fours, though, because it is shooting out of combat. The sixes will explode. No explosions. And it'll wound on threes. Two. Two free plus saves. Two free pluses. Yes. Onto that squad. Onto the battle sisters. And they won't use a jab yet. Uh, nah, three pluses. We'll just roll these. So they're fine. And then I've got a combi bolster, which is definitely in rapid fire range, which will hit on fours. And we on freeze. So one more free plus save. And yeah, you're fine. So the Rhino did nothing except for pass it step, dark pact. Um right, so now I shall shoot the infernal cannon from the Demon Prince into the Battle Sisters. I won't dark pact or anything, I don't really want him taking wounds. So he's just gonna hit on twos. And he's gonna wound on freeze at strength five. So two AP one, two damage. So two four ups. Dice the first one. Dice the first one. Okay, so one more four up. And we're gonna murder the baby for the replacement dice of a four. Right. And then. And then one of them falls over screaming, going ah. Okay. Right. Moving on to the noise marines, which are. Under there, um, I'm going to do a dark pack for sustained hits and unload everything into that unit of battle sisters. I'm also going to do the, the varied frequency on the Blast Master because that's really cool. Basically, it's six shots that's jump six AP1, which is amazing for killing toughness free battle sisters. Mm -hmm. So let's start with that. Hitting on freeze, sixes will explode. And I've missed loads of shots, but at least I've got a six. So that's going to win on twos. Oh, three twos, lovely. Um, AP one, so three four up saves. And I've got a battle sister with a blast master. Brilliant. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I ain't moaning at that, I'll take it. And then I've got my Doom Siren for D6 also hits. For six, oh, that's good. And this is also from six AP one, so twos. Look at that. Six four up saves. Gonna blast you with noise from an electric guitar. And then afterwards, if you survive, I'll charge and hit you with it because it's an accursed weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Six four ups. Uh, killed two more. Okay. So two more. Let's make a note of that. And then I've got all my sonic blasters, mm -hmm. which will hit on freeze, and the sixes will explode. And then these are strength five, though, so he's winning on freeze. And no AP. So, four free ups. I've already hit my dice, so. Uh, and then one more falls. Okay, so I've taken out half the unit. Okay, it's not bad, not bad. I can charge and hit the rest in combat. Okay, dark pack test for the noise rooms, let's do that. They're absolutely fine, they're loving life. Uh, and now they're going to charge into the unit they just shot at. Five, yep, yeah, they're going to make it. We'll move them in in just a moment. Yeah. They're going five. Demon Prince, straight into that tank. Yep, yeah, five, that'll do it. He's literally right there. He'll do mortal wounds on the charge as well, so we'll do that. And the Terminators are going to attempt a seven inch charge into that Rhino in the center, crushing through the ruin. It's a seven. There we go. Lovely. Just what I needed. Uh, and then once they've got out of the way, the Lamb Raider's going to charge the Battle Sisters right in front of him. He's made it on a seven as well. See, Nurgle units are doing well with seven inch charges. So it's almost like a thing. <laughs> now I've got a CP. Do I tank shot these Battle Sisters just to get him out of the way? I mean, what else am I going to spend a CP on? I might as well do. So let's do it. So that's many dice. I'll work that out after I've moved everything in. Right, okay. 
Tank shot from the Lamb Raider. I spent my CP. Many dice, because, you know, yeah. it's, it's a big tank. <laughs> Fives and sixes, there's three left? Three left. Okay, so I'm looking for three fives or sixes. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, I did six. They're, they're very dead. So we'll flatten them and take them off the board in a second. And I get a dice for that. And you're going to dice for that. Which is a one. And the Demon Prince does mortal wounds as he goes flying into things. Oh. Well, charging into things, but he's got wings. And these are on four odds up to a maximum of six. He gets a better tank shock. But it's only a dice for each wound he's got left. So if he's a bit poorly, it's not very good. But it's free, so it's fine. Uh, and he's done one, two, three, four, five. He's done six as well. Lovely. Okay. Crunch. Five. Okay, so the charge phase was pretty brutal. I've done quite a bit of damage already, but now we're going to the fight phase. <laughs> I'll hit you with some noise marines first. They'll do a dark pack for sustained hits, because slanesh. I'll start with my cursed weapon, a.k.a. a guitar hitting them on the head. It will hit on threes. Fives and sixes will explode. Lovely. Uh, it's going to wound you on three, strength five. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that came around, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> uh, so that's two AP2, one damage. So two five ups. Two five ups. You're looking at your, you're looking at your miracles. It might take a miracle for them to survive, to be fair. Uh, what's the AP of the other you takes? None. They're just punching with fists of Astartes. Um, we will dice one. Your dice one. Okay, so one more five up. Uh, which you make. Okay, going well so far. And these will all hit on threes. So fives and sixes exploding. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I've hit you more than I had attacks. Lovely. Despite the large number ones and twos. And then reading on threes because you have four toughness three. So that's five, nine, nine free plus saves. Can they survive? I'm annoyed at the guitar, really. I've got loads of hits and then hardly any wins. Let's see, that's the answer for that. Nine free ups. I've killed just two. Oh. Just two. The unit survives. Yes, I'll take it. Well, that's unexpected. Okay. And then I've got the dark pack test. Which they pass. Lovely. Right, move on to the next combat. Right, yeah, the sisters survived. I've consolidated a little bit, but I'm not going on the objective because you might get something which involves killing things off an objective. So it's yours anyway. Um, Demon Prince is going to activate, hit that emulator and do a dark pact, which means a talisman of burning blood will give me T3 extra attacks and strength. So, this many attacks, two extra attacks, and then D3 extra strength for three extra strength. Which means he's now strength 13. Oh boy. With eight attacks. Lethals on fives and sixes. Oh dear. Hitting on twos. I've missed once, but that one's also wounded. And then, what strength did I say it was? 13. I think I'm winning on threes. Yeah. Oh, that's not that many though. It's only actually, it's only actually four wounds. Four or five ups. What's the damage of these? Three each. So I need two to go through, basically, out of the four. <laughs> four five ups. I don't know of any five pluses. That could be a problem. Oh, you haven't got any five miracle doses? Oh no. dear. It's all on the faith of the Emperor, then. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Six damage, which is just enough. Luckily, I did loads of mortal wounds when I went charging in. Do you go boom boom? No, but you are dead. Right, one dead tank. Dark pack test for the Demon Prince. He's failed. Oh dear. D3 mortal wounds. For one. <laughs> okay, so he's on nine. He's going to be annoyed at that. It's the number of zinc, not corn. Um, Terminators have piled him. The two of them are at the back here. One of them's piled him around the side. He's within engagement range of this sister with a multi melter. So he's going to backhand over the power fist as he goes in. <laughs> the rest of them are all going to go into the rhino. They are going to dark packs and they can reroll hits, which is very nice. And they will go for lethal hits. Let's just do a power fist into a battle sister on freeze, rerolling. Don't need to, that's fine. And twos to wound. So that's three five up saves on that battle sister. 
she might be dead. Well, you five hearts, let's see. The Emperor protects. Uh, she's dead. Right. Yeah. Uh, didn't really fancy having a multi-melter with plus one hit and plus one wound right that close to my land raider. And I get a one for that. And you can get a miracle dice. Lovely. And then I'll have a power fist hit in the rhino. So freeze, but six is a lethal. Everything's hit, no lethals. Um, and then five to wound. Two. Two five ups on the rhino. So it takes two damage. Okay. It wasn't wounded, now it is. It's on eight. And then I've got the cursed weapons from the other terminators. Hit on freeze. Six is a lethal. Let's reroll the misses because terminators. And then fives. One. One more five up for the rhino. Which you make. So I've just done two damage and that's it. Yeah. And then dark pack test. They're fine, they're loving life. And here we go, set eight. Corn's number, I like that. Right, okay, uh, that is the end of my turn. You get to fight back with the things. Did you want to fight back with your sisters over there? They might do something, plus one hit, plus yeah. one wound. Well, we'll fight back with the line first, that's easy Yep. Freeze. Into the Terminator's probably doing absolutely nothing, but you never know. And then freeze, freeze cause, yeah. Because you're not for six. Ooh, two up saves. Yeah, if I roll up. triple one, you could kill a Terminator. I didn't roll triple one. No. <laughs> and then you've got three Battle Sisters, which have got, what, one attack each? Yeah. Uh, so, freeze, because you've wounded them. Yeah. Two hits. And then uh, normally... fours, because it would normally be fives, wouldn't it? Strength three. Yeah, just have fours. Um... Ah. Probably not worth it. Oh! You've wounded though. Three two, up saves. Two armor saves. You've wounded one. Hey. They're fighting for their lives. They've wounded a dude with a guitar or some musical instrument from the orchestra. Um, right, so that is the end of my turn. I'm going to ditch both my secondaries and get a CP. Mm -hmm. um, but I've done pretty well at killing things, really. All you've got left here is Morgan Val, Rhino with some ladies in it. On that flank, all you've got left is a few sisters, a crippled rhino, well, not crippled, damaged rhino, and a big tank with a big gun. Yeah. But you've got plenty of things back here. So let's see what the sisters can do in and turn three. Is it? You've got your deep strikey people, yes. Yes, and they're probably going to have to turn up this turn. Well, they're going to have to. Okay. Turn three. Let's see what the sisters can do. Okay, Sisters of Battle turn three. Doing well on the primary, you decided to insane brave the battle sisters that were over there. And then you helped, did a miracle dice to help Morgan Val over here. So you had many primary. You had this one, that one over there, and your home ones. 12 points. So it's now 37 to 10. You've got a nice lead, but I think it's fair to say you are slowly running out of assets. Well, yes. slowly is probably the wrong word. <laughs> but your secondaries this turn, again, are good, and you can score them. So you've got investigate signals and extend battle lines. Your tank's driven back to do this corner. You've dropped in your Calidus and your... What are these guys called? The Demonifuge. The Demonifuge I've dropped in that corner. So you're going to be getting six points for Investigate Signals. And you've already extended battle lines because your sisters jumped in the Rhino after it moved by falling back. And you've driven your Rhino and your Castigator on that objective. So you've definitely got that. So you're scoring 11 secondaries this turn. So you'll be up to 48 to my 10. Hmm. So you'll have a lead. So I'll see if I can catch up or not. Um, and... Well, these got Repentia. They got out the rhino along with your what's this, Palatine? Uh, what's that lady? Uh, the Palatine who was already behind the rhino. Will walk Palatine, around. yeah. So, so you're lining up charges on the Terminators because Morgan Val decided to go towards the Terminators as well yeah. because she looked at the Land Raider and thought, nah, it's not going to work. Nah, if I, <laughs> if I still had one, at least one more suit left, I would have tried the Land Raider, but. Yeah, with all your rerolls. But Strength 8 against Toughness 12, probably not a good idea. No. So you're going to go and kill the Terminators. Yeah, I've um, effectively written off the Land Raider as unkillable at this point. Yeah, yeah, or at least difficult to kill. And then end of your movement, I spent a CP and dropped my Warp Talons down here because I'm expecting the Terminators to die horribly because of Morgan Val, Repentia, Palantine. That's probably going to happen. But then they can jump in and probably murder all the Repentia and the Palantine. Because many attacks, Twin Link, lots of Lightning Claws. So that's that's what's happened in the command and movement phase. You've got CPs and miracle dice abundant, but many of them are ones and twos. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, now we'll enter the shooting phase. Yes. Start of the shooting phase, the monofuge's ability. Yes. She can see those plague marines, and they are within 12 inches. Oh, dear. A, um, a battle shot test for them, please. Minus, a battle sh- At minus two. At minus two. I believe they get plus one because they're on an objective they control. But let's roll and see, work it all out. I get a six. I'm pretty sure they've failed. In that case, three mortal wounds, please. You've killed a plague breed and a half. So rude. It's so rude, it's almost disgusting. Just like plague marines. Now we enter shooting face proper. Yes. They will go to shoot their bolt pistol and decide now we're going to investigate signal instead. Yes, makes sense to me, as is the Claudius. And, and the. Uh, and that, that, which kills my indirect fire for the turn, but eh. No, at this stage, it's getting as many points as you can as quickly as you can because you don't win on the points. Yeah. Any more shooting? You've got a rhino, a tank, and Morgan Val. That's probably about it for shooting, actually. Yeah, so we'll start with the rhino. Okay. We will storm bolt it into the noise range. Yes. And we will send it hunter killer into the demon foot. Right, I'm going to spend a CP on my demon prince this turn. Dark Obscuration, so it's got stealth, so it's minus one of hits. Yeah. Alright, I'd like that Demon Prince to survive because then it can go murder another tank. Okay. <laughs> well. So, what are you going to start with? We'll start with the Hunter Killer. Okay. We'll dice that, well. Yep, yeah, okay. Strength 12. Yep. Yeah. Freeze to wound. You're wounded. Four plus in a vulnerable save. I'm hoping you fell that. No, D6 damage. And our survey says... Two. A whopping two. Well, it hunted. It didn't quite kill, but it did damage. Right. Storm bolts with the noise marines, you said? Yeah. So, four shots. Heading on. Oh, yeah, I'm wounded, so I would have been hitting on threes anyway. Oh, well. Yes. So, storm bolt was hitting on twos. Plus one hit. They've all hit. Very nice. Didn't yeah. need it. <laughs> and you're winning on fours. Uh, one. One armor save. I think one of them was wounded, wasn't he? Yes. Yes. So hopefully we can pick off the wounded one. No, he's fine. Okay, oh, okay. That's, that's the rhino done. So you've got a castigator tank or whatever it's called. Yeah, so we're going to send the cannon and yep. add to kill it into the Dean Prince. Right. So I get to reward my hit rolls with the cannon. Yes. And the storm bow and the heavy bow is into the noise range. Very nice. Okay. We will, we will start the smallest weapon and work up. Right, so... so storm bow first. Yes. Heading on freeze. Because I'm not wounded yet. One hit. A hit. That's a bit half. Falls to wound. One oh. armor save. One of wounded. He's still wounded. He's still alive. <laughs> heavy bolters. Nine shots from them. Could be painful. I hope you can. No. Hit on threes. Sixes are sustained. So let's take the ones and twos away. And we get one back. Yep. And you're winning on threes. Uh, it's not looking too bad. Four. Four, four, four ups. Four minus two. Four minus one. Two damage. So four ups or death. Three of them chose death. That's not great. Okay. Would have been four if they wanted one that died. Well, yeah. And then you've got your Cannon of Doom from your Castigator into, well, the, into the Demon Prince. We'll do the Hunter Killer first. Okay. Nice hit roll. Well. Okay, yep. Yeah, Merkle dies with the hit roll. Cool. Wounding on a three. You wounded. Let's see if I can make a four pin ball. I can. There we go. That's a little annoying. Okay. Uh, just, just a little. <laughs> e6 plus three. Yeah. Really? That's four. That's a bit nasty. Oh well. Hit on fours with roof. Yes, because of stealth. Ah, oh, stealth did something, but you're re-rolling. It still did something. <laughs> so two hits. What's the strength for this? Ten. Ten. Yes, yeah, so you're winning on threes. I'm pretty sure on toughness nine. Yeah. Two of minus one. Three up saves. Two up saves now, Demon Prince. Standard. It's good, isn't it? it? Used to be three ups. So he's taken three damage? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping to do a bit more to him than that. So he's on four wounds remaining. Well, the stealth helped a little bit. So, okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Bolt pistol from the Mistress and the Repentia squad into the noise marines. Okay, cool. 
Or do I want to throw a grenade at the Terminators? Oh, Grenades are fun. Let's grenade the Terminators instead. Okay, cool. So six dice, four ups. Uh, oh, five more wounds. Tasty. Right, bolt pistol for the pound time. Where's this going? Into the Terminators as well. Okay. Okay, and hit. That's not wounding. Wound. Okay, never mind. You killed one and wounded one with a grenade, so that's quite good. And then uh, what else you got here? You got Morgan Val with a no longer so super bolter, but just a normal bolter. Yep. Um, how are we going to do this? Okay, we'll do the bolter into a noise wind. Right, the heavy bolter thing. And then what? Crap missiles, terminators? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to me. What are you starting with? Heavy bolter? Yep. Hit on twos. So you've hit twice. It's alright, there's only two of them. And then you're winning on threes. Twos now, because I'm below. Oh, yeah, getting plus one a wound. Oh, cheeky. AP one? Yep. Four ups. Killed a noise marine. How rude. Okay, and then you've got a couple of crap rockets into the Terminators. Yep, so twos. Which both hit, and because you get plus one a wound, you really want twos as well. Yep. Very nice. Two at minus two. AP two, okay. Uh, so one goes through, that'll kill go on a wound. Two terminators remaining. Which we're probably about to get charged by a bunch of crazy repentia. Or possibly get charged by more than and a repentia might go the other way. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Is that all you're shooting? Yeah, that's all legal shooting because the other rhino can't shoot. It's not our combat. It did. Charges, where would you like to go? I mean, I think we all know where she's going. Yeah, into the Terminators. <laughs> right. I mean, no matter what you roll, that's as far as you can go. Because there's a Rhino and a Terminator in the way. Yeah. Um... What are you thinking? Right, let's see. Let's... I mean, you've got a CP. You can probably tank shot the Noise Marine. <laughs> if you really wanted to. Oh, nine inch charge. Oh, what, your Palantine? Yep, so we'll try that. Okay. She's more likely to kill a noise marine than she is the Terminator. Well, yes. So Palantine charges the noise marine, me and I. And I've got CP potentially for re -roll. No. Not worth it. I'll leave it. No, there. okay. Repenture? Where are they going? Noise yeah. marine? Yeah. Because Val should kill the Terminators on her. I mean, there's only two Terminators left now, so you'd like to think she can kill two with plus one a wound. <laughs> it's probably only a five or something, and there's not much. Six. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Give it a go. Oh, Burning your CP. Yeah, got her at this point. Oh, no! They've tripped over a... The, 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 whip, the whip for the superior. Oh dear. That's actually really annoying. Yes. So, do you want to charge your tank in? I suppose you haven't got tank shock anymore, have you? You could drive him over, maybe. Or is he, is he really causing you a problem? No. I no. Just, just would have been nice to kill him. Would have been nice to <laughs> kill the heretics. Okay, let's swing with Val. Just the one charge then. Okay, cool. Is she doing a big strikey profile, whatever it's called? Yep, the focus strike. Cool, okay, so hitting on twos and winning on twos because that's what I win. Yep. Very nice. Go on then. See what this does. They've all hit. And dead wounds. And sixes are devastating, yeah. I've got no six on miracle dice, which is a little annoying. Uh, but you have wounded all the times. Five, four plus invulnerable saves. What's the damage? Free damage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're dead. I thought they would do. Killed the Terminators. And she can consult it onto the objective. Like so. And that will end your turn. And you've scored... Extend back lines for five points and investigate signals for six. Eleven more points for the sisters. Yeah. As we move into Chaos Space Marines. Turn three. Okay, Chaos Space Marines turn three. I'm, I'm quite a way behind on the points. You're doing well on, on the, all the points, the sisters. You scored both your secondaries last turn. 
And that's a primary. So you're up to 48 to the 12 to the Chaos Space Marines. Because once again, I only had two points on the primary for having the home objective. I haven't been able to get any of the central ones yet. But that is hopefully now going to change. Um, I've got a CP at the start of my turn. Healed three wounds on my Demon Prince with Skin Shift. Which is a good well named stratagem for a big demon, I think. Um, and then I sort of realised... With Cleanse and Storm Hostile Objective, it's annoying but kind of good at the same time. Because I can score them both, but it means not doing other things. So the Land Raider's going to cleanse an objective. <laughs> so not ideal. Storm Hostile Objective, Demon Prince flown over there. Noise Marine's also walked onto the objective. I've nicked the objective. Noise Marine's going to cleanse it. So I'm scoring all my points. But, yeah, would have been nice to... Um, shoot this thing so I give it plus one hit with the waltzmith and then he's not actually going to shoot with him but never mind the obliterators annoyingly they're sort of out of the fight for a turn they've had to advance because they've only got a four inch move and they've done their indirect fire already and there's nothing else here to shoot so they ran to there next turn they'll be in the ruin or at least some of them will be shoot charge get stuck in waltzmith and hellbrook have all advanced as well essentially this lot isn't doing anything this turn but next turn more pain is coming from this flank. Uh, the Plague Marines, they've moved. They're going to try and deal with this with some help from a Rhino. The other Rhino has swung around to here like that, to, again, just to help shoot things or charge things. Essentially, I need to take back some board control. Because <laughs> these sisters are everywhere. Um, so let's start the shooting phase with nothing from over here, but with some Plague Marines. So I've got a Plague Spewer. And a plaza pistol and a blight launcher. So let's shoot all of that. The plague's pure is d6 auto hits. It's like a heavy flamer for five. Except for it's anti infantry two up. It's lovely. Is it sprays COVID and vomit all over you? It's brilliant. Oh dear. So there is five at AP one, and ignoring cover. So five four up saves on your little sisters over there. Five, four, up. How much damage is this? One Just one. Yeah, it's, it's like a plaguey flamer. Um, so that's four wounds that I've gone through. So that's one dead and one wounded, right? Yep. I think you said there was nine wounds altogether. So I've done four wounds so far. Right. Uh, Blight launcher. We'll hit them on freeze. Six is a lethal because blight launchers. It's from six, so twos. Two at AP one, two damage. Okay. So four ups again. Four ups again, yeah. You're looking at your miracle dice. You're thinking about a miracle. I may or may not get one for the turn. A what? Another one. <laughs> How many ones have you got? Too many. <laughs> Too many ones. Four ups. So one saved. Dice the other. And you're going to dice the other one. Okay. And I've got a plasma pistol. Pew! Which misses. Brilliant. And that's hazardous. So he's fine. Okay. So one's dead. One's got a few wounds left. One's down to four. And let's shoot a rhino into the one that's left. Mm -hmm. So let's do a dark pack for sustained hits for the rhino. Yeah, why not? So combi bolter. No sustained, but I'm winning on freeze because toughness battle sister. Two normal saves, so I'm assuming three ups. Yep. So you're taking another wound. Down to three. And then you've got a Havoc Launcher. Well, I've got a Havoc Launcher rather, which will have five shots. Which will hit on freeze. And then we'll wound on freeze. So two. Normal saves. So you will survive the shooting. But the skin of your teeth with two wins left. Fine. And I've got a dark pat test, which I've passed. Okay. Uh... Right, so you've got two wins left with the battle sister lady. Brilliant. Doom Prince is going to shoot more than With the infernal bolter thing, whatever it's called. Uh, I've hit twice. Uh, it's from five, so fives. Yeah, only just. One, AP one, two damage. So one, free up save. Nice. Miracle dice that. Cool. Okay. 
The Rhino is going to put everything into your Repentia, and there's a full unit of 10, so Blast is a thing with a Habit Launcher. Let's do sustained hits with that Rhino. So three plus Blast. Hitting on threes. Sixes will explode. Oh, hello. And then threes. So that is four AP nothing, damage one. Four AP nothing, damage one. And there's a Repent Shah. Do they have an armor save? Uh, no, it's an Invan and Phil no pay. Okay, so Invan will save them. So six of Invan. So you make two of them, that's quite good actually. And then five, two of no pains at five up? Five up Phil no pains. So two of those. So I've killed a Repentia. That will do. And then I've got a combi weapon on the Rhino, which explodes. And then four ups are devastating. So two, five up Phil no pains. And that's you're absolutely fine. So I've, I've only killed a Repentia. Does it matter which one? Not really. There you go. Um, right. Okay, I think that's it for my shooting because lots of advancing in actions over here, which is a bit meh, but fine. Um, right, Doom Prince charging into your castigator thing. Oh, look, he's made it. Uh, warp talons into the lady here and the repentia. Yep, go ahead. Oh, do I go for more than that as well? No, I think that'd be quite enough, more than I can chew. They've made it as well. Lovely. Right, and then the Rhino will charge into the lady over there. Yeah. Which is a six, which is probably enough as well. Right, charges have moved in. Doom Prince gets to slam into your tank. Four up some mortal wounds. So there's five mortal wounds. I love his free tank shock. It's brilliant. That was a six on the tank. And um, let's do his dark pack while I'm here. Actually, no, you got a fight first unit, haven't you? Yeah. So technically, you hit my Rhino first. So let's do that. Got it, dice. Yeah, eight on twos. Let's see if hit three times. Very nice. Strength. Not a lot, but I'm anti cows two plus. Oh, yeah. That's true. So you're winning on twos. Oh, you got, oh, you got a two. There we go. <laughs> so you've ruined it all the times. AP. Are you paying? Give me a second. Let's AP something. Okay, it is AP 2. Okay, so 2 go through. What's the damage? 2 damage apiece. So I've taken 4 wounds on the Rhino. We've got 6 left. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Have we got a CP to interrupt anywhere? I've only got 1 CP to spend. Right, so. I might as well start with the Rhino over there. So, Dark Pack with some Lash sustained hits. Here we go. So hitting on fours, and that explodes, lovely. And then strength six, so twos. Two normal saves on your lady. So it's two free ups or death. Yes, she chose life. I don't know why, but fine. Well, she's uh, technically <laughs> died twice already. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. It's why the Harlequin calls her the first four. Oh, interesting. Well, she can die a third time. You should read the book, actually. It's a good read. Yeah. Mm. It's got it's got several flavours of space wheat, especially Slanesh ones, Ooh. and Black Templars. Lovely. And, uh, and some crazy Inquisitors. Some crazy Inquisitors. All Inquisitors are crazy, aren't they? Crazier than all. Yes. Dear Prince, let's do his dark pack with his talisman of burning blood thing. Oh, dark pack test for the rhino. Actually, before I forget, he's fine. Right, let's do a dark pack test for the demon prince while I'm here, so I don't forget. He's fine. He'll get D3 extra strength and D3 extra attacks. So he's getting three extra attacks and one extra strength. Lovely. Let's work that out. Let's smash a tank. Right, so I'm doing the strike profile into the castigator. Many attacks because I've got an extra three. And um, lethals on fives and sixes. Hit on twos. So oh, only one lethal, actually, which isn't great. But I'm winning on three, so I'm strength 11 now. So that's good. Three plus five, six. Uh, AP two, six five ups, three damage each. And I need, what, two to go through? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and all my medical dice are ones. Ah, not very handy. So it's just six fives ups and lots of faith in the Emperor. The Emperor protects. Hmm. 
maybe not. Um, he, he, he tried, he tried, but it's not enough. Even with a CP, you'd still die because you failed free. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Do you go boom boom? I'm hoping so, because that would be justice. No, no, it wouldn't. Fantastic, right. Oh, well. Bang. And oh. the dirt is gone. Okay, moving on <laughs> to the warp talents. Two have to hit your palantine. The other three are going to go into repenture. They're slash. They're going to uh, dart pack for sustained hits, because that's lovely. Mm -hmm. These ones are going to go into your palantine. Hit on freeze. Fives and sixes explode. Um, fit more than I had attacks. It's lovely. Strength five, so I'm only on freeze, but they're linked. Which is just as well, because that wasn't that great. That's better. This many AP2. Has she got an invulnerable save? Uh, yeah, four up. She's going to need it. Uh, nine. <laughs> How much damage do you need? One each. Okay, so I can afford to fail one. Okay. Four, five. <laughs> you can afford to fail one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was overkill, really, but those two could only hit her. They couldn't hit the repenture, so, you know. Okay. Nine four ups. Okay, so from now on, I can't afford to fail another one. Oh, yeah. she's dead. So I'm going to spend a CP now. At the end yep. of the fight phase, she'll get back up as close to where she died. But not in engagement range. Yeah, and she'll come back on full wounds. Because you've got, you got loads of Miracle Dice. Well, loads of ones to spend, so I'm going to spend them all. Right, makes sense to me. Right, so she'll get back up in a minute, but she's died. Fantastic. And then I've got a boatload of attacks into the Repentia, but at least I'll get shrugs. Right, freeze. Fives and sixes all will explode. That was not great, actually. One, two, three, four. Uh, then freeze for re-rolling. You almost wanted that roll the opposite way round. Kind of. But you can't have it all, can you? That's not bad, though. Nine! Nine invulnerable saves. You've killed one. So I've got exactly nine left. Oh, that's handy. You've got shrugs, though. You'll be fine. Well, oh, some of them will be. Yeah, I'll save the six of out. So, first of all, any Emperor of Faith shields. So, two of them pass, and you've got many five up shrugs. Two damage for aren't they? Just one. Okay. Yeah, just like them tools. So, you pass a couple of them, so I've killed five. Five Repentia. Five Repentia. Die in the name of the Emperor. Okay, some Repentia died. I parked the dark, passed, parked, passed the dark patch for the Warp Talents, so they're all good. And you can hit me back with some Repentia now. Yep. So, um, yeah, what have they got? Crazy chain swords. Yep, and the Mistress has got whips. Okay, and the unit's ability is... They get to re-roll... They get to re-roll hit rolls in combat. Okay. If they charge or... If they make a charge or were charged, they can also re-roll the wound rolls. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So they're hitting on... Will be twos now for the whips because of you've killed loads. I have killed loads. Not yeah. enough, though, unfortunately. You are getting plus one wound as well. Yeah, so... Okay, so the whips first. Hit them twos. Yep. Very nice. Anti-infantry four plus. Okay. But what's, I... the, what's the strength thing? Strength is three normal. Okay, so it's falls either way, right? Uh, so nothing. But I get to re-roll because I've charged and was charged. Yes. Well, there's one. One and that's at a minus one. Minus one from the whip. Take one damage. Yeah, only one damage on the whip. Okay, and then you have got chain swords and things. Three chain sword babies. So that's six attacks. Hit and freeze. Well, they normally hit on fours, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you can re-roll? Yeah. Which is a good thing. Unfortunately, I don't have any sustains or anything nice. And then strength six. With plus one a win, so you're winning on twos. And re-rolling. Just, well, you're winning on twos, isn't it? Oh, dear. Five twos. <laughs> 
AP. Minus two. What's damage? Two damage, please. Oh, we killed four of them. Wow, okay. Um, interesting. That was very interesting. Um, more than Val can't pile in an inch to join in, sadly. Well, she's not in engagement range, so she can't do anything. No. So... Just run, run her to bump into a Demon Prince, and that'll be that. So we'll do that off-camera, because not much is going to happen. I'll score my 10 points. Okay, so this is about to turn four. Seven on the primary again, because you have the central objective and your home objective. Morgan Vile failed her battle shock, unfortunately. So um, that's a thing, but fine. Can I be? Uh, your objectives, though, are achievable. You've got to assassinate an Arizona. Hmm. Kill a Walk Talon, kill a Demon Prince. How hard can it be? Shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, anyway, so pretty much everything stayed in the combat, and then your Morgan Vale and your Rhino went that way, because that one's still got a Hunter Killer. Yep. Those Battle Scissors got out of that Rhino, and the Rhino fell back, so then you can shoot things at the Demon Prince without getting minus one a hit from it being in combat. Yep, and... Um... Uh, she stayed in combat with the Rhino. Your Assassin's popped back down over there, because she popped up at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. And your... What's this one called again? Exorcist. Exorcist, move back over there to get in range of the Demon Prince because it's only got 36 inch range, which is pretty pants, really. But there we go. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's interesting because you're currently on 55 points to my 22. Yeah, but, uh, but I will start getting primary now because Mr. Lamraid is sitting here. So, yeah. catching up is on the cards. Wow. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's start with our turn because she's not in combat. But you are not close enough for me to find a grenade. Oh dear. Oh well. Um, bolt pistol at the Lamb Raider because it's the only thing she can legally shoot. Okay. <laughs> Hit. 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 Oh. Oh. Will she actually take a wound off of it? No. No. Um, right. Oh well, that was the easy bit. That's the easy part of the shooting phase. Right. Bolt pistol from the mistress into the warp time. Let's see if we can soften him out. Right. Hits. Uh, That's probably wound. Plus one a wound, yeah, that'll wound, yeah. He's taking a wound. Okay. Okay, Rhino, Storm Bolt are into the Noise Marine, or whatever that lone marine is there. Yep, and what's the Hunter Killer going? I'm assuming you're shooting that as well. At the Demon Prince. Okay, alright, I'll, I'll let you carry on. What are you starting with? Storm Bolt first. Okay. Hit and freeze. Yes. Hits. I'm really going for us. Two. Two, no AP. He takes a wound. And then you got Hunter Killer into the Demon Prince. Mm -hmm. So that will hit on a free. That's right, it. Okay. And it hits. You're going to wound on a free. Your wound. Four up, invulnerable save. Come on, point. Because you've got a six for damage sitting right there. Yeah. <laughs> what else you got? Okay, sister squad. Because I don't have to sacrifice shooting a bolt with a throw grenade. So it's on top of shooting. Well, you do it before you shoot, yeah. Yeah, so the sister squad is going to grenade the input. Okay, so that's, that's a CP. Down to one. A little CP farm. CP farm's working quite well, isn't it? So six dice, four ups, mortal wounds. Okay, hand press, give it good. Uh, so I'll take three. So I'm down to three wounds. Okay, and then you've got your multi melter, which oh. will hit on freeze now because you did move, but you can just want to hit. And I'm going to shoot the two bolters into the noise ring. Cool. What are you going to start with? The bolters. Okay. So cool. hit on twos. Hit on twos. Plus one a hit. And then winning on threes. Plus one a wound. Two armor saves. He lives. Yeah. Two multi multi shots on threes. Hitting on the threes. Two Both hit. Very nice. Spring. Winning on fours. Plus plus nine. Threes. Plus one a wound. Yes. One. I'm going to CP re-roll that other one. Okay. It's 
Still, still a one. <laughs> yeah, that's a little night. Four up. He's dead because it's d six plus two from that range. He's only got three gonna, wounds. I'm gonna f- hang on. Uh, d six plus two. Do you say? Well, it's melt range, isn't it? He's dead anyway. He's only got three wounds. Oh yeah, I'll just roll it. Many wounds. He's dead. I think he deadly demises. No. And I get a miracle dice for that. Oh, very nice. Because I have an icon bear that's still up. A two. A two. Which is a bit sucky, but oh well, we'll take it. Let's see, you've got your... Where's that, I don't know where that dice has gone. You've got your assassinate. You've killed the demon prince, but he's done well today. He's killed two tanks. He was having a great time. And then... Bolt pistol from the demonifuge. Oh, and into the rhino, yep. It's... Uh, what minus... Oh no, pistol's not minus one. Hey, carry on. Doesn't work. No. Has she got a gun as well? Yep. Okay, uh, let's see what that does then. D6, automatic hits. Oh. So that's three. Yep. And, give me a second. Okay, anti-infantry, two plus. Oh, very nice. Cool, so looking for three twos. Or three ones if you're supporting chaos. So two wounds. AP and damage and things? Uh, the... The AP is minus two. Okay. So five ups. Both go through. Damage? One damage base. So you killed one and wounded one. Okay. And Morgan Val hasn't shot anything yet. What has she got to shoot? That's the question. I mean, there's a noise marine right there. And she can shoot a land raider if she wishes. Or a rhino or a land raider. Yeah, so we'll shoot the bolter weapon at the noise wing, and we'll shoot the mil- missiles at the land raider. Okay. What are so, you starting with? The bolters. Okay. Here on twos. There's a painter. And then wing on twos, you've got plus one a wound. Yep. And you've got three ones. Brilliant. Okay. That's a little annoying. Crap missiles. <laughs> <laughs> they both hit, and he's a wound on fours. Plus one a wound. Safe dice. No. Okay. So that's her, that, that's her. And then I think what else you've got left? You've got your tank and that's it. Hmm. So what would you like to shoot some missiles at, essentially? Out of your organ of noise. Hmm. Well, what's that going to do? What's that going to be best to deal with? That's a question. Can I... Right. Opt in to shoot the obliterators with your organ of doom. So d6 plus two? Yeah. Okay. So eight shots. Oh, it's woken up now. It just needed to move a bit and it's fine now. Yeah. <laughs> but you aren't getting heavy and it is minus one to hit, so it is hitting on fours. Yep. So that's pretty good shooting. And on top of the seven, so you win your freeze. So four. AP? Minus two, so it goes to minus one. Three ups. And they're loving life. I think that's where you shoot him. Any charges? Um, let's think about it. Um, the assassin's going to try and charge the plate wounds. Okay, go for it. So that's a nine. And I can't do anything about this. Nope. nope. Okay. Uh, what else do I want to charge him with? Um, You're all about her charging to help against the warp talon, potentially, if you want to do that. Power talon will do that, because that's yep. auto in. And then Val. Uh, noise moving. Yeah, I mean, the brine is in the way, so you should have to go around that, but see what you get. That won't be enough. No. Um, how I always see the noise for me anyway. Do I really need to charge him? No. No? No, they're not going to charge him. No more charges? No. Okay. So where do you want to start? Over there or the Palantine? Well, uh, Stern has to go first. Well, they both got to fight first because she charged. So you choose. We'll start with the Palantine. Okay. And we're going to trigger. A special ability, which means I've got to spend one of these ones. Right. Okay. This is where it gets funny. 
Okay, Palantine hitting the Wart Talon. Here we go. Many attacks hitting on twos. Yeah. Yep. And you've rolled lots of ones. Brilliant. Okay. Strength more than my toughness, so freeze. Yep. And every successful wound does a more to an addition. Oh, I mean, the Wart Talon's dead. Yeah, there we go. More wound, there we go. He's dead. Very nice. So that was your enhancement thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, now it's the other one hitting the rhino. Yeah. And she's only got two wounds left. The rhino could potentially kill her. Unless you kill the rhino. Well, hit on twos. Mm, she's hit three times. She dropped one. But she's empty chaos two plus. So you're winning on twos. Well, use one of these twos. Right. Three wounds. And it was AP two, I believe, from yeah. last time. Uh, so it's a dead rhino. It's two damage, isn't it? Yep, two damage, please. Blow up. Ah! <laughs> yes! So you killed a rhino. The oh. first tank falls. Yes. Uh, and that's it for the fight phase, isn't it? Nothing else is in combat now. No. Nope. So at the end of, your, end of your turn, you have got Assassinate and you have got Area Denial. So ten more secondaries for the sisters. I'll take it. So I've got a lot of catching up to do as we go into Chaos turn four. Right, Chaos Space Moon's turn four. I've got catching up to do, but I've, got, I've scored some primary this turn. The name, one in No Man's Land and one at my home. So I'll get seven points. So I'm at 29 to the 65. So I'm 36 points behind. But I can hopefully kill lots of things now. Um, I've got no prisoners and tip and target. I spent the CP to get rid of behind enemy lines because, well, that wasn't going to happen. Um, <laughs> so essentially... I need to get that objective, and the only way I can get that objective is by killing everything on the objective, and then my noise marine stands there on the objective, because he did pass his battle shock. So, that's what I'm going to try and do. The Warpsmith gave plus one hit to my Hellbrute, because he wasn't in range of the Land Raider, unfortunately. And Blade Raiders have moved. Two of them are now in the ruins, so they can shoot. The other two are behind it, though, so fine. But hopefully they can charge in, kill things, and I can dominate the center and here for many more points. And shoot off for that one, so then you only get two primary points in your turn then. Hopefully, if all goes well. Land Raider stayed still, Hellbrook walked up with the Wartsmith and the Obliterators. Back here, Plague Marine stood still, they're in range of whatever her name is over there. The Rhino moved backwards to also be able to see her, and potentially help the Noise Marine clear off those sisters if need be. So I need to start shooting things, so let's start shooting things. Let's start with the Plague Marines shooting that lady over there. Let's shoot a Plague Spewer, which is lovely gooey vomit, vomit and all sorts, which will hit you six times. <laughs> oh dear. This Plague Marine's got his backpack full of pus. It's going to wound on two. He's anti infantry two up. Four. Four up saves. Does the Amphor protect? Uh, she only takes a wound. She's got a wound left. It's all right. I'm supercharging a plasma pistol. What could possibly go wrong? It's hit. It's wounded. Another four up. You're looking at your dice. Anything else going our way after that? Potentially the rhino. Just roll it. And she dies. Hazardous. He's fine. Yep. Okay, so that's, one, so that's one unit for no prisoners. And that gets rid of this annoying anti-chaos nonsense running around doing anti-chaos yeah, things. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to resurrect her. She can stay dead. Yeah. She's done her job now. Yeah, she, she did all right. But what do I get? As a, As a miracle. A six. Oh, very nice. Okay, right. Lots of tasty sixes. More shooting. Let's shoot a... Sonic, what's it called? Doom Siren into the uh, Battle Sisters for D6 auto hits. For one. Oh no. 26, so it's winning on a two. There you go. And that's AP1, so one four up save on a Battle Sister. Oh, in the train. Try again. She lives. Okay, right. That rhino is going to put everything into those battle sisters. The combi weapon is not in rapid fire range. But it has hit. That's a devastating wound. One of them falls over. Right, two left. And then I've got Havoc Launcher. 
for six shots. Trees. Should have done a dark pat. <laughs> Winning on freeze. Three, three plus saves. No AP. Let's see. So, all, all good right. so far. Still good. Um, so, there's still two left. Okay, right. Yeah. Right. Two battle sisters left on the objective and a rhino. And they need to die for no prisoners and tempting target. Land Raider, dark patting up. Last cans and heavy bolters into that rhino. The habit launcher and the combi weapons into these sisters here. Actually, the habit launcher can go into those sisters. That makes more sense. Combi weapon repentia. So four last cannons hitting on fours because you just popped smoke. Yeah. But I'm going to dark pack for sustained with Nurgle. Hellbrook's right there. So fours to hit. Fives and sixes would be lethal and sustained. Okay. So that's lethal and sustained. And I'm going to win on threes. So just the two wounds, two five ups, because of smoke and cover and mirrors and things. Dice first one. Okay, so one five up. The Emperor protects. He does. Okay, heavy bolter. And fours, lethal and sustained. And then fives, and then twin linked. So three, three ups, two damage each. Emperor protects. She's so absolutely fine. Okay. So that tempting target is not going to happen. Or at least still not this turn, anyway. Objective achieved. Right. Combi weapon was going into the repenture, so rapid fire range from there. That's lethal and sustained. That's not wounded. So just one six seven vulnerable save. Yep. Six up. And then a feel no pain. Of a five plus. So I killed a repenture. Oh, that's fine. And then I have it launcher into the scissors on the objective over there for four shots. Which will hit it on freeze. That's a lethal and sustained. And then freeze. So <laughs> four free ups on the scissors on the objective over there. Four free ups. And they've had dice spent on them, so I can't do more. Yes. So, does the Emperor protect? Oh, there's four saves. One more. <laughs> but they're all fine. Okay, right. It seems as though I'm not going to get this target, although it is very tempting. Yeah. Dark pack test for Lamb Raider. He's fine. I was hoping he'd fail. It's all right. I've got two obliterators in that ruin that can shoot things. Right, it seems that Rhino does not want to die. I thought Rhinos were endangered, but apparently that one isn't. Um, my obliterators, one of them can see Rhino. It's not going to be enough to kill it. So the two that are in here, it's going to shoot Morgan Vile. I will be dark patting up for all the Nurgly sustained Hellbrute nonsense. And um, yeah, let's do that. So 2d3 melter shots into her. For two melter shots. Yeah. Take on freeze, but five and sixes will be lethal and sustained. So, no lethals or the stains, but two hits. So, 12, so twos. You think you said she was yeah. top of six. So, two wounds, two invulnerable saves, or death, because it's six damage from that range. Okay. <laughs> That's all the first one. Okay. You've got Four. no CP, but you do have miracle dice. Four up in one. Four ups. You've made that one. I'm going to miracle dice the second one. Of course you are. Right, dark pack test. They're fine. Right. The Hellroot is in line of sight and range for the back of your tank. So I will dart packed up and shoot the time with dart packed. There's no point dart packed in. I'll just shoot it because I've got nothing else to shoot at. D3 shots with the plasma cannon for one. Which will hit on a two because of Walksmith. And it will wound on a five. No. Okay. So, shooting phase was pretty terrible apart from killing her. Obliterators are going to charge the Repentia and the Palantine. Mm -hmm. They've made it. And the Noise Marine will charge those two Battle Sisters over there, because why not? Yeah, I can't do it. And, and he's made that. So let's move them in. Don't want to charge anything else. No, that's fine. <coughs> okay. 
Starting with the noise rain into the scissors, I'm going to dart packed for sustained hits because he's on a wound, he's going to die in a minute anyway. Let's try and kill another unit. So hit on freeze, fives and sixes will explode. Didn't really help. Uh, I'm going to win on freeze. One! He's not even going to kill the unit. One five up. <laughs> AP2. Nice. And she's absolutely fine, and he's now he's going to further start back and die. Oh, he could, but he's got an icon. He lives. Okay, right. Okay, obliterators then. I've got to take the wound dice with me. Uh, they're going to pile in, like so. Two are going to hit your palantine, and two are going to hit your repentia. This is going to hit. And they're going to dart pack for sustained hits as well, because, well, why not? Then you're going to be on sixes, though. This will be into your palantine. Okay. All right, hit and freeze. Six is exploding. Chef nine, so twos. It should be ones. It's triple your toughness. <laughs> <laughs> no twos, uh, and then five invulnerable saves. AP AP two two, two damage. So five more ups. Five of them. Yep. Yeah. How much damage are these? Two. Okay. So she, so since she has two fail, she's dead. There's one. There's two. <laughs> so she's dead. That's another unit. Yeah. And then and my dice are hit. Okay. Three. three. Okay. And then the arrow blitter is hitting your repentia on freeze with sixes exploding. And then twos. So four, six plus invulnerable saves. How many is left there now? Uh, three, including the whip lady. I'm going to dice one of them, so you need to make all of these then, probably. Uh, no, they're all two damage each. Okay, so... So, re -rolling the passes, I imagine. No, so they're all dead. Yeah. So I've cleared the centre, it's just more than Val remaining. Yeah, and my dice are there, boss, is a... What? A one. And then you've got your battle scissors, which can hit the noise marine. All two of them. All two of them. Freeze. One hit. And then winning on fours, because plus my wound. Oh, could you kill him? Well, I would say. Oh, yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he deserves to die, because he did absolutely nothing this turn. So he's dead. And no. I have an icon bearer. So guess what that means? Oh, no. Another dice. Another dice. Right, I will ditch tempting target. That's not going to happen anymore, so I'll get myself a CP. But I have got five for no, <coughs> for no, for no prisoners. As we go into sisters, turn five. Right, it's, it's a quick summary for turn, well, bat round five, essentially. You already scored 39 secondaries in the bat round four, so you need to score one more secondary point to max that. And you've got Catch Enemy Outpost and uh, no prisoners. Mm -hmm. So basically your turn consisted of her running over there and she actually killed all the Plague Marines. So that's your secondary maxed out. And you scored 33 on your primary because you had um, one more No Man's Land on your home one again for your final turn to get 33 primary and your 40 secondary. So pretty good score in there for the sisters, finishing on 83, including painting. And then my turn five was engaging all fronts and deployed teleport homer. So I could get three quarters and the Wartsmith can run and deploy a teleport homer. And then I could hold three objectives at the end of my turn and that's it. Best case scenario, I'd finish on 29 secondary and 31 primary, so 70 points, including painted. So 83, 70. It's a win for the, the super trading transporting sisters list. <laughs> <laughs> so well done, sir. Victory is yours. Yay. And um, yes, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>